there we are. Just give it a little bit to set it all up. Whew. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is a new game. I actually have no idea about it, so I should explain what's going on. Um, so the developers of this game, Few Nights More, apparently watched my Rogue Legacy 2 speedruns and thought that I would like the game and decided to give me a free access code. So that's why it says somewhat sponsored. I basically got paid 20 bucks, the 20 bucks to buy this game I got for free. So I thought, hey, I'm thankful for getting a free game. Might as well play on stream, show them gratitude and give them an opportunity to show off their game. So it's a... So it's a completely um, indie game company, so if I click on credits, um, Atunia Awudai is the name of the creators. I I will state this, um, I have no idea what I'm getting into. They said it's a turn-based roguelite, and that is all I've looked up on it. I have actively not seen anything on this game. I do not want to know anything about this game until I see it for myself. I just went to setting. I opened up the game, I went to settings to make sure that all the audio is pretty good, and that's it. Um, it's apparently some story about vampires, like apparently they were the first of this world, and their empire has fallen, and now we're bringing it back. So apparently we're going to be a group of vampires reclaiming our throne of this land. That's all I know. That's all I know. So, without any further ado, new game. Alright, so I guess we have several different characters we could choose from. So let's see. Velka does not prefer to fight in the front lines, instead using his magic to buff uh, and help her with minions to win fights for her. Alright, hold up. Using his magic to buff and help her minions. I feel like there's a typo somewhere there. Alright, whatever. Um, when it comes to an encounter she can't avoid, however, she has her inherent mirror ability. Alright, so it's... Basically, everyone has their special abilities, so story stuff with lineage, not going to go deep into all the lineage, but let's just look, and like, I don't really know what this um, plus one intelligence, 5% dodge, I can assume what that is, um, but yeah, let's just read the bomb fiends, and then probably go ahead and pick this one, because it's the first one. Um, how's it going, Joda guy? So, I just got access to this new game. I'm trying it out. This is my first time. We're figuring things out. So, this person, shape of fate. Look into the mirror to shape your fate. Gain a ram amount of power and magical armor. All right. Toggle wings between bol to bolster fortified defense or inflict tower terror at the end of every turn. All right. So, this is probably more of a melee. Play with your prey and mark it to get a bonus if you hunt it down after. All right. So, kind of a focus fire. Seduce a target and cause them damage based on your finesse. So, this is kind of our rogue then. Alright, well as I said, I'm going to start with the left and just move our way right. Ah, uh, you could choose. Got it. Alright, so that explains the little typo there. Alright. We're just going to... They start us with the female, we're going to go with it. I don't care. No radiance. What is radiance? The light is gaining in power and intensity over time. Ah, so this is... So I'm guessing this is going to be a lot like Slay the Spire, where there's ascension modes, and Radiance is kind of our ascension. Anyways, let's try it out. Alright, we only have one option. School of Veneer comes with a blood pool. Cool. Or gains plus crit chance for every blood left at the end of every turn. Yeah, so again, I have no idea what any of this stuff does. We are just trying to figure out as we go. So for the Blood Lance, which deals magic damage. All right. And this one starts with 15 more HP, gate AP for every five attack skills used. All right. Feast upon Flesh Fear enemies, deals physical damage with the chance. All right, so we know we are a distance character and suggested blood first. So we're just gonna go with all the suggested stuff. All right. Castle Nazmer, Castle Velar. Oh, is so is this where we choose our um, difficulty, or driven salvation? Investment starts with eleven rooms, but has work to do. We're just gonna again start with all the basic because 
have a feeling we're going to just figure things out as we go. Yeah. Poof. Just a lot of rules that ha still needs to figure out for it. still needs to teach us. So that's definitely one thing that we just kind of did a lot of blind picking for first. Survive all nights and defeat the last boss. You will lose if your HP of or your coffin reaches zero. You can manage your castle on just lord skills. All right. Hunters have multiple goals throughout the evasion. They want to kill your lord, pillage your rooms, or destroy your coffin. All right, so it looks like we're kind of doing a tactic, like a tower defense tactic surf theme? Huh. All right, so anyone who stays one turn in our room causes one damage. Sorry, th one of the big problems is it's just this bulk of words. One of the big challenges you have to do with strategy games is you need to be able to simplify your mechanics down so that you can explain it to people, and then you have to be able to um, have the depth in there with simplified mechanics. One of the things that is definitely happening right now is I feel like it's throwing out so much information. Like, we had to make a lot of blind choices with the last several things. This is a rogue light, so I'm assuming we're going to be able to go back and make those choices again, fix problems, but... We made a lot of blind choices. Our character, their lineage, their the castle we chose, all those were completely blind choices. There was, so that is definitely an issue. Um, and it would probably be better if when you hit new game, if there's a tutorial mode, this is, as they said, this is all in early access. We are just seeing what they have, figuring out what's wrong. One of the things is it's, they might need a proper tutorial. When you start to kind of get you a sense of what you're getting into. Because I had to make three decision points, which all had branching options, and I had no idea what's going. And now I'm starting to figure out what's going on. All right, so keep moving on. Lord's character screen can be found here. You can change your skills trinkets and view your perks and abilities. All right. So if I click out your Lord's portrait, you can see everything. This tab is for construction. Which tab? You can see the rooms you have available to construct here. There, rooms can be built by dragging them with a the mouse. You can upgrade a room by dragging two of the same type of rooms to each other. Traps. Hmm. All right. So, as a strategy game, I'm don't. If I just jump in blind, I'm going to die. So I'm not really just jumping in blind, but it seems there's a lot more information I need to address before I get here. Fame screen. Vampires like to brag about their fame by displaying it in three categories. Alright. What's more, you can obtain rep a representation directly from rooms or other resources. In which case, the points will... Hmm. Yeah, just so much. So much we still need to figure out just to play the game generally. And that's definitely a challenge that all strategy games have to deal with. Uh, basically... I'm not basically we're gonna to have to figure out what is the core gameplay loop of this game and from that can we like get a tutorial that is just that core gameplay loop and then we start doing one step at a time improvement right now it feels like I'm getting everything thrown at me and I'm going to forget this just flat out I am going to forget this um, during preparation phase but once the evasion starts you have to use movement speed all right you can merge your minions on the screen by using your plasma. If you have three of the same type minion, you can add them to a row. Alright. They're searching for you. A laugh will, will act by these words. Okay, also that that's a little foggy. I'm not sure if that's just because I've made it too small or what, but that is a little... Alright, choose my skill. I don't even know what these skills do. Alright. High cooldown. Um... Family hit enemies with three magical damage. Release your inner hunger. Cleanse yourself dispels and deals 20 more L damage. Alright. Drown in your own blood. Gain five magical armor and make the next bloodlands deal 50% more damage. Oh, they all cost blood. Alright, we're just gonna go with the blood missile because that was the one offered first. I've just suited first offer. Alright. Yep, just... Yeah, okay. So now we get more descriptions of what's going on. And this is another thing that we're getting a bunch of description. 
Alright, dodge chance and cunning by one. Great. So now we need to figure out, okay, cunning increases critical chance for th for 3% per point. But it's a percentage. How about just finesse gives you and 3% crit chance? Alright. So max HP by 5. Your physical and magical armor. Also note that I had to choose plus one intelligence before I even knew what intelligence was. So, I am nitpicking, but that's the point. That's the point. I want to figure out what's going on, and that involves understanding where things went wrong. Alright. Multicast. Dodge. Crit chance. Wait. Oh, this is damage. Okay. Alright. Start with one intelligence. Yep. Just all these things I need to figure out. Oof. So if it's good of Gargoyle, I did not know I even had this ability. So yeah, there's a lot of options. Oh my gosh, what is this? Archmage Tank Genius Scoundrel. Apparently there's archetypes I could come up with. Huh. I have no... What's going on? Alright. Minions? None. Decors? None. Rooms? Traps? Alright. Fame. Minus three terror. Alright. So I guess they give us benefits. Alright. No. Merge panel, nothing. Alright, so we're just kind of moving around, I guess. They're searching for you. Am I able to move around? I feel like I'm not, don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Alright, I guess I hit one night more. What was my first impressions of the game? I'm getting through it right now. The first thing is that... Just this, there needed to be more tutorialization. I think as a roguelite, I'm just gonna have to accept that I'm going to die on this first round. Skill setup, I guess, because I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing to change the skill setup. All right. Another thing is you have to drag to the bottom left corners of the map, but I have it windowed, which means I'm dragging off the screen a lot of the times, which doesn't really work, you know? Okay, so I use a left click to change where I start. I guess. So there's an entrance to the right. There's an entrance down. We're gonna start here, I guess, because that allows me to maneuver around, I uh, I guess. All right, one night more. All right. And yep, just right there. Alright. Go, oh, so I have movement points, and let's start our first fight. So I think, yeah, it would have been good if we just started with a first fight in some way. If we just start, because, like, look, now we have an additional tutorial that we're about to jump into. And my guess is this tutorial is gonna, like, you need to understand the fundamental grounded stuff before you can get into all the strategic stuff. So it would have been good if some way we could introduce the combat, and then we introduce all of that stuff overhead. Because I. <laughs> there's a lot of confusion, a lot of figuring stuff out that's going on right now. And it's just a matter of how do we get the depth involved? How do we introduce this without overwhelming? Because right now I'm getting overwhelmed a little bit. Alright, so it's an action point based system. Got it. Skills in the game can have an AP cost and might have a blood cost. Most skills have no cooldown, they usually come with a rate class. Uh, there are two types of procs with skills multicast and conditional. Um, conditional gives morale to hunters? What? Oh, it's hovering. I'm gaining access to the things behind my opponent. To get things behind this tutorial screen. Oh my gosh. Alright. Just a few little errors like that. Feeds that hopefully they, f they will fix before it comes out of early access. I assume so. But, yeah. Again, I do not know much about this company. They gave me the free game. I'm not going. I'm not going to hold back any punches, but also I'm not going. To, I'm not going to try to be too harsh to them. They, I mean, you know, 
I want to give a fair, give them a fair shot. I know it's early access, and early access means a different thing for other people. Some people want a full, complete game, and then it's just adding on. Some people just want a kind of concept, proof of concept. And so I'm going to assume this is proof of concept. I just, I wish they had a way to introduce each piece. So, like, I'm not going to know if this is a good game or not until I figure out everything that's going on. And that's the main issue right now. Alright. So, multicast proc. Um, that's just, it gets cast free. Um, conditional proc. Skill buffs another skill. Alright. Physical armor. The amount of physical damage. Debuff effect. Alright. And buff effect. Alright, so they have a little buffer debuff triggers. Um, Alright, so we have armor, we have buff and debuff. Got it. They have morale and health. Every time their morale reaches 50 or 0, they are stud for one turn. Um, the max morale is 200, while the minimum is 0, while 100 is morale. Well, Alright. All right, so more, so reducing morale could cause you to deal more damage. That's cool. That's good to know. So you want to reduce morale even if you're still killing them with lethality. And that actually could cool, cool. That could also bring in a cool like rogue style, where my theme is I drop morale because instead of one percent damage, it's two percent damage or something like that. So it could be a very different thing. Um, you can see the intentions of the hunters here. You can gather further information on what if you mass over the skill name and show them the tooltip. Okay. This is your lord's unique skill. Each clan has its own unique skill. The game... Alright. Cool then. The majority of skills with no cooldowns have a recast limit. Each skill has its own unique recast generation. Alright. So there's... Yeah. So there's action points, which is how many moves you can make. Blood, which I'm assuming is like mana. And then this is just cooldown times. Got it. Um, there are two sorts of trinkets. Active, passive. Um, just permanent effects. Alright. And there's trinkets that are just... Alright, so he's captured Wrath to tell you to do any action. And it gives morale to all hunters. So we just want to kind of break their morale, I guess. Alright, so I have three action points. Where is my blood? Um I, I have zero out of a hundred blood, I guess. You gain five blood for every target hit. Um gain five blood. No cooldown. Alright. I'm gonna save these guys, because I don't know what this 2 out of 4, 3 out of 3 is, but I think I want to make sure to recast limit, initial recast. Okay. Got it. Got it. I don't got it. Never mind. I don't know what I'm doing, really. Alright. Either way, I blood land, see this guy up front. I'm gonna try to do it again. And then next time I will use Gargoyle Skin and Blood Missile. That's my plan. I am out of action points, so I guess I just end my turn. Yep. Alright, so now I have Moral. Three damage, three damage. Yep, okay. So this is where I want... Okay, so two... Okay, so two came back because of... Um... Initial recast regen. Gave, oh, that's its special ability. It says 50% chance for plus one recast for every blood bounce. Okay. I'm sorry to figure that out. Okay. Use crystallized blood. Alright. So we gain more blood. I can use this blood now to deal some damage. I have three armor, so I think I take three less damage. I'll just use this one more time to make sure I have six armor and take no damage. Pretty sure. Yep, so the armor just took the damage for me. Five damage to slam, three damage to build Dirt Pierce. All right. So I could use this three times to block all the damage and gain five blood. Actually, hold on. So one, two, bloodshot. Both went on him, unfortunately. And this deals two magical and two physical. I think this would kill him. There you go. Alright, so it's a bit like Slay the Spire, except you kind of plan out your turns in advance. Got it. Alright, so this combat has some cool strategic elements. Again, it's one of those things I just wish I knew this was what I was getting into. 
before I started sort of thing. Alright. Got some items. Come on. The UI. Oh well. Alright, so... These two are trying to... Okay, so some are trying to kill you, some are trying to destroy the coffin. Got it. Got it. So now we're in the setup phase, and we actually can use our stuff. So now we get a perk. Okay, cool. And now I need to figure out what each of these perks do again, because there's so many stats that it just, like... I wish I could hover over this and see what strength does. I wish I could... I know that stamina is more health. Um, I'm going to go with all-rounder, I think, because I know the intelligence is useful. Um, blood Mage could be useful as well. So it's either all, all round or Blood Mage, because this is going to deal more damage. This is going to make me more durable. I think plus one, that one lifesteal is going to be valuable enough, and this gives me intelligence. So I'm going to get the Blood Mage here. All right, so we get a new attack. All right. Use your Unholy Might. Physical damage. Whoa, 100 blood. I have no idea what this M is. All right. Use only my have a vampire to heal heavy damage. Let's see, search blood deals two magical damage to all hunters for each remaining AP at the end of turn. Buff lasts one turn. I'm just gonna go with devastation. Keep it simple because I don't want to be physical right now. For five damage with an extra two. I feel like I should know what... Mm. I feel like there's some stuff I should know that I don't. Is basically my issue. Oh well. So now we have that. No cooldown by 100 blood. Got it. Alright. 10 magical armor. All damage taken by 5%. 10 more all damage to single target. I want to use passive stuff. I want to use passive stuff. So we're just going to get reduce all damage taken by 5%. Gain 40 plasma income. Okay. Ram trap every two nights. Gain 4 SR minion instantly. Gain 80 plasma income. Okay, I get it. Oh, or we could bring one of our rooms to um, level 2, I think, is what that's saying. Either that, or we're immediately getting a, a level 2 room. I have no idea. I, I'm still figuring this stuff out. Hmm. Let's try... Do I also have to, like, make sure it fits or something like that? Still try to figure this out. Look at the minions. Alright, so this is a 2 by 3 So yeah, let's... I feel like if left-click isn't... Left-click should allow drag. That's one thing. Fame, we have zero points. Got it. Alright. Trap room here. I have no idea what those stars are. Oh, here we are. Deals 8 damage to a random enemy. So now we just need to... I guess I have to add them in here. Got it. Figuring stuff out. That is process. Alright. I have 100 gold. I have no idea what I'm supposed to buy with it. Ooh. I have to go to sleep. Yep. Have a wonderful time, man. I'm just figuring this all out. Um. Yeah, it's just a lot of questions that showed up along the way. A lot of things where it's like wanting to confirm that things are going right. And. Alright, I guess they only come from below. Because. Alright, well, I'm about to get into a double fight. Let's see how that fares. 
But yeah. Alright, I do like- so, here's the thing, I like this sort of combat idea, I like the basic, but I feel like the system of tower building and stuff just needed some, um, like, more support is the way I would describe it. I don't really know what I'm doing half the time, and that doesn't feel good. Alright. Whoa, what's this? Gave one physical armor. Oh, this guy is tanky. Didn't even realize that. We're just, in that case, we're just gonna destroy the guy in the back for now. Alright. Alright, so he has a strength buff. You try to do any action, four damage to the torch. Did burn stack does not apply if this attack is defended by armor? Alright, cool. So I'll probably just do gar double gargoyle skin. Alright. Here, I'll save up for um, devastation. Alright. Villager Pierce. Doesn't really work if you're dead. I'm pretty sure I can kill him, because that's four. Then here's four more. Awesome. Well, that's six damage now because of all my magic, I think. All right. Let's just figure things out. Five torch damage. All right. Ooh. Reduce soul damage. Shake it by 5%. Cool. All right. It's just, like, the basic system of combat is pretty nice. It's just, like... It took a while to teach it in a way that I feel it was not necessary. Alright, hold up. I'm pretty sure I could... 10% chance deals 3 magical damage. I can use it 3 times. And that will be 9 damage. Not enough. We'll just kill him next turn. And then we fight this next one. Alright. Does anything carry over? Nope, it does not. And again, this person has armor. And I... So I'm just going to kill the one up front. So yeah, right now, it's just like... If I could teach this system first, it would be like... Easier to address. Ooh. Alright. So now, we have a problem of how much ar damage they're dealing. So that's 9 damage right? But this only gives me... I can only get three physical armor through this. So... I think... This is physical attack, so the magical attack does not um, actually help me. I'm just trying to map this out. I'm trying to figure out if I can... Let's see. I could deal 12 damage to this person, use this, and then... Gargoyle skin. Ooh. So I have four armor now. Alright. I think I am going to just kill this um, person. And that should deal more than the gargoyle skin can help. Alright. Let's try to figure out. I think I take one point of damage here. Hopefully my life still will take care of the rest. Alright, strength buff. That's all you're doing. Deal two magical damage at the end of turn, so we'll just use one gargoyle skin to make that fix. Alright. Six torch damage. Alright. Let's keep our resources. No reason not to. So, like, this little combat system is kind of interesting to, like, try to think through the solutions and such. It's just a problem of getting this system all built out. Is having, like, there's still some stuff they needed to set up that they didn't set up. I feel they could have set up properly. But now that we're in the routine of things, this has been kind of fine. Alright. So, Droid Coffin. Each time they enter a room. Alright. So let's start by getting ourselves... Alright, plus 4% crit chance. Um, 
Honestly, that plus one life still is probably enough. I'm gonna go with, honestly, the multicast chance and crit chance might be good for me. I could grab the stamina and try to go more tanky and keep focusing on intelligence. Hmm. I'm gonna look at what the skill I have. Alright. No blood costs. Attacking an enemy for magical, for magical damage. The skill has a... If you have less than 30 blood in your blood pool. Gains plus one every three turns. Or every three times an attack crits. So... So thirst is something where you're going for critical hit builds. Okay, so yeah. The combat. So here's the theme. The combat in this game actually seems really unique. And that there's a lot of value. It's just like... I didn't... I had trouble finding the combat because I had to go through all this me screens of figuring out the character and um, how this room system works. Basically, this game would be helped a lot by just having a tutorial that starts with combat, teaches you room layouts after that sort of stuff. Alright. Utilize the duos. Change all types of your damage to magical for a turn and dispels. Okay, so this is a support. That might be the good one. Um, answer your reflexes. Next two skills cost five blood instead of AP. That seems insane. So it's protect myself or blow them up. Your next two skills cost five blood. Yeah. Well, actually, I have uses for my blood. I have no idea what this R is. Because I'm using my blood for other things already. So. Alright. Available points left six. Alright. Gain one trinket choice. Gain three random traps and two lesser minions. At the end of every. So I can gain more gold every night. So let's see. One merchant trinket and 300 gold. Alright. To all hunters at the end of every turn. Alright. Terror seems like it has a good six point ability, but we have minus three terror. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get three in each. See how that fares? Alright. Every time you, pl you play 12 attack skills. Alright, that's pretty cool. Increase trigger chance by 5. Lord Ga Oh. But it's, a. Uh, I think this one's the best. Just getting ourselves more chances to use our attacks. Because we chose the mirror last time, I think we choose this one. Alright. What is this? Alright, so this is the merchant. Got it. This is what all our money's for. What's it? What's 10%? Get runes. Plus one thorn. I'm assuming that's when we were get hit, we hit back. One on use for one turn lord's base cradle damage increase by 300 percent That's damage to all hunters. 10% of them are HP. Force forge. Two random decors instantly. And it has one trap. This. Alright, we're gonna exit out of this, but that's cool that we can actually. Yeah, I'm gonna save up for this. Alright, so that's cool that there's a little merchant there. I could go finesse, get myself more dodge chance and crit damage for. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go with the scoundrel for now. We have no. None of the others. Got it. That's okay. And we're just gonna keep fighting until we learn that there's more to this game than just fighting. If I go in here, 
Alright, so I don't get any benefits for being in the coffin room. That's all I was checking. Alright, that's what I was waiting for, when people were going to invade from different positions. Alright. Because, yeah. Okay. I just kept... Everyone was coming from the bottom, so I just assumed that. But... Alright, now we have an interesting theme. Magic damage dealing attack. Okay, cool. So we're actually taking some damage. Gives a Ram Hunter physical armor. So I think we just kill the one in the back, because they have the lowest health. And we're going to use Shape Fate to... Um, just give ourselves some magical armor against this. And I might just take some damage... To power ourselves up. Oh, 4 AP. Nice. Alright. Where's our mirror? On use Lord Gates. Alright. So let's see. Hold up. If I can do that, get. One more. And then I wonder, can I just use this actor point now? Yep. And... As well. Just getting everything belt out. There. 100 damage footsman's attack. Actually, we're gonna end up using both of these anyways, so might as well do that now and then see if nope, blood kept hitting the wrong target. Oh well, I don't know. I guess I forgot to equip my mirror effects. All right, good to know. Well, we're taking some damage now. Hopefully, that's okay. keep hitting the wrong targets. Alright, and we're out of actions because we're out of blood, so that is definitely an issue that we're running into. We are now... our lack of action points. Or it's not our action points that are the problem. It's... things around it. Alright, we're gonna save our gargoyle skin for next fight, for next turn. these things strength constitution. Alright, and this is where we start spending things again. Alright. Take you out. Alright. Then we have a bunch of... This is only magical armor, so no point in that. Go. We are taking some damage, but at least we brought it down to one person. I think at this point, um, we might want to save up for Devastation. I mean, this does... Decent damage. By all means, that does decent damage, but... The problem is, it's not the action points, it's the fact that I can't spend my resources fast enough effectively. Like, I'm all reliant on this Blood Lance right now, and that's not really how this should be going for us. Alright, Desperate Call. Alright. Whoa, why am I gaining so much blood from that? Huh. Oh, is it because I'm injured? Huh, I have no idea. Still figuring out a lot of the systems for this game. Alright, 
all physical damage. So he's dead. And you're almost dead. Alright. But yeah, this feels a lot like Slay the Spire in a lot of effects, other than, you know, the fact that... How do I explain it? Feels a lot like Slay the Spire, except where um, Slay the Spire has um, cards and such that you have to take care of. This is just like using your res your attacks. This is you set up your systems and you just use them, sort of thing. All right. Four pull up lances. All right. ourselves as much armor as we can. Couldn't kill the villager, but got them low enough on health that that should take care of them. Alright. Well, it doesn't deal magical damage, so let's just power ourselves up as we use the lances. Oh, right, these are all physical damage where I have magical damage. That explains why that's going through as it is. All right. Wait, hold up. This deals 10 damage each. So unfortunately, I couldn't do everything I want, but should be dead next turn. Just need to start healing my character up in some way. So I think I need to grab more life steal. All right. Figuring it all out. Hmm. All right. Wonder rings. Wonder rings. Try to turn cover. All mirror. Oh, is this like an improvement to the mirror? Or to form a shield that gives you cool down petrified moon. Okay. Stacks up fortified. We're gonna go with this, and then we're gonna end up changing our skills because I'd rather have near than how do I There we go. We go fortified does in time. Alright, so AP we've proven is not as powerful as I thought it was going to be, because we literally run out of resources we can use, which is kind of funny, honestly. Alright. We just need more life still, basically. It's my understanding. Playing something that's not Rogue Legacy? So I was given a free Steam key for this game. So, um, I just wanted to try it out, see how it fares. It's an early access game, and it definitely feels like an early access game. Um, at the moment, like, it seems like there's a lot of potential here. That's why I'm still playing, testing it out. But it very much feels like this is a game that is going to need, um, it's going to need some time now to really figure out how it works. Alright. 
So the plunder runes, I think I'm going to let survive. So I'm going to destroy these two up here when they come up. So this is what the arrows. This guy comes from above. This guy comes from, from the left. Got it. Got it. All right. The job, yes. I had my job um, recently. I had, this was my first week of the job was last week. So I did have that. Just figuring things out. And yeah, I'm not going to think too hard. Apparently the merchant only comes by sometimes. That's why they were considering. All right. Thanks, man. Thanks. All right. I don't know how I spend plasma, but we'll worry about that merchant stuff next time. But I might be dying because I just didn't understand the merchant works. All right. Physical. All right. What is fortified? Once, we're going to try it out. We have enough ways to get um, fortified. I'm sorry, how much health did that cost me? No, it didn't cost me health. That was me just misunderstanding. Alright, we're going to figure it out. This is... Okay. I'm actually going to take four fight now. Get that all set up. Basically set up my tanking stance. And then I'll start... Okay, people are going to start getting magical armor, but... I need to just start cutting them through. I'm not worried about this person because I have a lot of effects against it. We're going to use this before the magical armor comes in. Nice. Alright. How's your dog? Um, oh, right. So, how? it's been a long time since you come in, Chris, you know. But, yeah, we have two dogs again. Um, Mali and now Coco. Um, as, oof. Priest heal, so he's just, they're just healing them up. But we're going to just take them out before they have the opportunity. Right? Nope, missed. There we are. Oof. Yep. Um, so yeah, that was a, l a while ago at this point. Um, but yes, um, we got our good old um, Coco. Vicky's been training it to be a good girl. She's doing well. Alright, Priest is finally attacking, so we need magic armor. So this is where the Shape of Fate comes in. And then we wreck this guy to the best of our ability. I'm really just trying to target this one right now. I'm surprised to see something other than Rogue Legacy 2. Yes, um, this game I got for free, and I'm just... Um, the devs want me to try it out. I'm like, hey, free game. Why not? All right, let's see if we actually kill this guy this time. Awesome. Sweet, so now we don't need the gargoyle skin. All right. Hold up. Do I want to use gargoyle skin for any reason? Yes, it gives me blood, which, though this person does not deal physical armor. Yep. Renew. Give morale to a random hunter. I think at this point we want... Aw, oh, I literally took it off. Okay. Looks like we're not getting many debuffs on us, at least. Yeah, we're saving that for when we actually need it. And... 
and I guess this is really what our blood's for, so might as well use it now. Alright. This is just kind of... It looks like Slay the Spire, but in the pure saying, that's a good way of describing... This is how I've been feel how, how it's been feeling for a while now. So yes, that is a fair assessment. There's a lot of like thought going in, but I think it's like it's too much thought is going in for how early it is in development. Could is the actual point to just use another pair of four or five, but I don't think that four, four or five even helps us. Six exactly. entries. All right, this is one we were using Shape of Fate. Oh, let's use that. Try to get more damage through. And yeah, the fortification doesn't mean much. We're taking a point of damage here, or not. Awesome. So yeah, we're just kind of coming through it right now. Um, a lot of our abilities are just kind of... Um, a lot of our abilities are designed for characters with melee attacks, and this is a magical attack. I killed the main person dealing damage to us. So that hopefully lets us just, you know, get through them. Unfortunately, we're about to take some damage here, and I can't really do anything about it. So we're about to take six damage, it looks like. Yeah, but yeah, Slay the Spire in Vampiric form is a good description. It's how it's been feeling to me. Alright. I think it's actually better I end the turn here. And, um... Because they're just kind of getting their defenses up. And... Every turn I'm healing a little bit, so... I now have two Blood Missiles, which I think could be good enough to take out the Priest when I need to. Like so. It's very early in development. Alright, so this guy got injured and stole some money. Alright, so now we move in and take them out. Alright, so you do have to decide which ones you're facing kind of then. Alright, already taking priest attack. And they got injured because of those abilities. I think... I think because I have fortify um, ready that the priest is going to be much more threatening than this guy. So we're going to take out... We're going to focus fire the priest to the best of our ability. Um, Art can use some work. Can't say much about gameplay yet. Definitely. Um, can't deny that. I'm going to use Mirror to turn it all magical. Try to get some extra crits and such. Action point. Get ourselves a gargoyle skin simply so I can blood missile. Cool. Unfortunately, I could not take them out. Alright. Can I kill that priest? Possibly. No. Unfortunately, I'm out of actions currently, so I am going to be taking some damage from the footman, but the priest will be taken out very shortly. Right? Right? You're actually going to hit the target I watched you hit? I think it's actually better to fortify. Right, let's actually kill the priest this time, if I can. Alright, Rally and Pre-Seal, that's fine, that's fine. We can work our way through this. Alright. We're gonna save these Gargoyle skins, because you have a certain amount. Do I have a Discord server? Yes, but it's mostly just so that people can contact me through Discord. Um, most of my Discord server stuff has been... I'm gonna use the phrase abandoned, because I don't really spend time on it anymore. Alright. So now they're tanking themselves up again, unfortunate. At this point, it is actually easier for me to kill the this guy, just because of how things worked. Alright, so let's do just that. And you hit the wrong target, thank you. 
Alright, well. Hitting the wrong target is going to cost me some health. We'll see if we can make our way through it. Oh, yep, yep. Very easily, actually. But yeah, this character is basically built around this whole blood stacking effect. You definitely threaten me more, so I'm going to kill you first if I can. Alright. But yeah, right now it's just like, this is the first mission. Alright. Awesome. Got them out of the way. And that will give me 11 armor, which is good enough to take this hit, I believe. Awesome. Alright, so now it's just us kind of wading through the damage to actually get rid of this guy. And it's just going to be a matter of walking through this, basically. I'll have the gargoyle wings loaded up, so you can have a certain amount of charges and try and get as many as I can so that when that damage comes barreling through. Or we could just kill them. All right. It requires way more mains than I initially expected. Yep, basically. All right. Don't roam randomly. You're going to get wrecked. All right. We have two mooks up front for some reason. No idea why, but we're just going to take them out now. Breach stack. Every time damage is taken. This effect is applied up to three times every turn. All right, good to know. We're gonna just end turn there for now. Footman's attack, got it. We're gonna just power up so that we get ourselves ready for later. So he keeps summoning more. That's A-OK -okay with me. As long as I can work my... Ooh. I can actually action point and get ourselves more blood characters. All right. Footman's Vigor. Well, heals and dispel self. Okay. That's perf actually perfectly fine. We are going to make it all magical damage, so all this armor you're gaining means nothing to me. And we're gonna... I'm gonna start saving the blood, actually. Alright, just armoring up. Alright. Meanwhile, I don't know if it's alright to talk about RL2 on stream for... Oh, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Talk about what game you want to talk about. I have no current. Doesn't take... Does it take much to see I like the game? Yep. When you like that, when you like Rogue Legacy, yep. All right, so we managed to do that without using any resources. So now I could use this multiple times. 10, 11, perfect. And then I can use this to increase my Fortify. So yeah, this Fortify basically means that I'm eventually going to get to a point where they can't really hurt me effectively, is kind of the hope. So yeah. We're dealing solid damage as well as just being, to an extent, untouchable. Alright. Just keep fortifying. Shape of fate. And lance them. Got it. Alright. Start with this to just kill the two in front. Gargoyle skin. And yeah, the lances also recover a lot of my abilities because this whole build is built around this blood lance. So it's good to use it anyways. And that gives us 12 armor. We're regaining like three health per, okay, two health per fight per round. So it is all just working as intended, basically. Fight's slow, but we are slowly winning and slowly gaining back all of our health, which is why things are going fine.
I'm using this just to increase my power. Um, so I have nine power, so it's plus 45% damage. There we are. All dead. Weapons vigor. Cool. Now you have to stop me. Use that Ron. Should have used the mirror first, as I realized. The attacks I was going to make. But yeah, this is just kind of... We're kind of clean at this point. I'm kind of sad that that's what it's come to, but also good that that's where we can be. All right, we'll use this once because this keeps reducing that power output there. All right, we're approaching. Here we are. 24 footman's clean. All right. So this is why we've been saving up, so now I could get 21 out of the 24 damage taken care of. I'm just going to spend the action point now because we have trouble finding slots to use it anyways. Alright. So let's give ourselves some magic damage and start skewering him. Alright. I'm not sure if this is actually helping as I expected, so the mirror might need to get removed there. 38 damage, Footman's Vigor. Alright. That is good to know. Apparently this guy just keeps escalating, and long-form battles is not how I'm supposed to be doing this fight. Unfortunately, we learned that a few steps too late, to put simply. So we're about to get wrecked unless we kill this guy very fast. Yep. I just had no idea. Like, it's one of those things of you don't realize that the enemy is scaling to such a degree that the fast kill is necessary until it's already too late to do the fast kill. point use the fortify. Alright. And this should be good though. Plus 17 power, so that should be enough damage to get through all of that. We are unfortunately really low on health now, so we do have to worry about that. Still doing my first casual playthrough, had a couple of great runs recently though. Nice! Always good to have great runs. Alright. So yeah, now that we kill all those enemies, we get a sense of who's coming next. Um, we have a person who's coming for a coffin right up this side, so we need to fight them. Then, yeah, so we're, I want to stay on this right side for now. Let's get a perk of, I think I'm going to go, ooh, skill slot or tank. Let's look at our possible skills first. Alright, unleash blood, deals five. High fist with one additional damage for 10 blood currently in blood pool. Alright. Attacking an enemy for 4 magical damage. The skill has a. Alright. So, thirst for blood bank. I don't need that much blood yet. I could lung blood bank and rebuild that. Run, run, full cleared stun tower is barred, and then I didn't feel like it was a great idea to do I right after that. Um, so it starts with one of five. And so this thirst is for a crit build. Carnage is... So I picked up two, one of two pizzas game spawned, and it was a very easy fight. Yep, pizza is very powerful against stationary opponents, definitely. Alright. Carnage has... When an enemy is slain. So I could build up four Carnage and then just start wrecking people. Turning blood into more blood. This just seems like 
not how I want to build my path. I'm going to grab Carnage for now. Alright, one, plus one skill slot or um, more damage reduction. I gotta think about this. So first, let's look at our abilities. I do like the combination here. Mirror did not seem very useful. So... Blood Missile, and then possibly Devastation might just work if not Blood Carapus. Alright. Yeah, no, I think just Carnage into more Blood. I think that's how I want to do it, yes. And that means I don't need Mirror. I don't need Devastation. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So, we don't need the skill slots, so I'd rather have... Um, damage reduction. Alright. The guy I just fought might have been a boss. Yep. Something like that. Alright. We have six points left. High percent critical chance. Let's see. Gain a merchant and 300 gold. That could be useful soon. Um, gain one random boom. I don't think I want crits anymore. I could start grabbing traps. Hmm. This is a tough one, because I start at negative three, so I'd have to use three of the points just to negate that. Alright. I'm going to wait till I get one more gold before I get my prestige maxed out. So I think I'm going to put three... So I think I'm going to get some crit chance here. Alright, and I think I'm gonna... Negate that a bit. We'll figure out how that fares. That's probably not perfect spend expenditure. But I think next round I want to get the merchant purchase. Because apparently you only get so much, so many merchants. And I want to have as much gold as I can for it. I want to be in a more dire situation basically. Alright, we have no traps. Ooh! Didn't realize we had minions and traps. Long Nightmares is a decor. That's assuming very long fights. So I could put it in my coffin. Room. And then I can wait so that when they enter the coffin room, I kill them, but I'm not sure I want to do that. All right, what happens if I take the merge panel? All right. Fusion cost. Okay, cost plasma. Deal 16 damage to a random enemy. That doesn't really matter, because I can't even fill out enough minions for rooms. Like, the way this is built, I basically need to put minions in those bottom rooms, or they're not going to impact the game. So I think I just leave them be. Honestly. Alright. Let me guarantee you my skill and trinket setup sir sort of stuff. Alright, we need one more trinket. We have five action points now, I just can't spend them all. Yeah, I need something that's like an AP sync that's still helping me the way Blood Vessel is. Alright. We're gonna try this, and if we die, oh well. Why is there like... Oh. Alright. So these are both melee based, so Shape of Fate is just trying to buff my power. That's the only point of it. We want Petrified Blood Carapace, but we want to build up to it. So now we... Like so. Alright, which one do we want to kill first? Um, yeah, let's kill the hunter in the back first. Get as much damage as we can on them. Alright. 
We do take... Oh, we... He can crit us. I had no idea. I might honestly just use the carapace to get more armor. No, I need to use gargoyle skin ASAP. Alright, let's try to use this. Nine, and then we... I think we just blood missile to try to... Nah, it's not gonna kill him. Let's save our blood points. We are taking a lot of damage here. Ooh, that dodge was pretty big, I think. Yeah, just the hunter constantly dealing attacks. It's being a bit much. Ooh. Alright. Fumin seems more like a tank character hunter is probably more dangerous. Yeah, that's why I'm figuring what makes sense to me. Alright. This cost 20 blood to use. I had no idea. I didn't even realize that. This was a bad decision then, because I want blood missile over carnage. I definitely want blood missile over carnage. So many different ways I want blood missile over carnage. Wait, I thought you were dead. I legitimately thought they were dead. Alright, well... Now we're in trouble. In several means. Well, now we're very low on health. We're getting lower on health. I don't have the resources I want. Can I kill him? Let's find out. Here. So it turns out my plans were ill-advised. Alright. Well, we move in. And yeah, the thing is right now, it's just like I'm charging enemies. There's no real decision points within these areas. Yep. Alright. Another issue, and this carnage was a mistake to grab, by the way. So we just need... Basically, right now, our goal is to not die while killing everything. To the best of our ability. And no more using Carnage, because it doesn't work as well as I intend I hoped for it to. We're just gonna spend the action point to get that now. And we're gonna save these blood missiles for now. Companion attack. Could not kill. And thus we are about to take some serious damage. Just gotta hope. Alright, we dodged some of the damage. That's good. That is very good. Alright. Awesome. We are now gaining enough blood and enough resources to actually properly fortify ourselves. Alright. Unfortunately, we are out of actions now, and we are taking six more damage. So we're going... Oh, we dodged. Sweet. Oof. I wonder if there's any difference between attack from hunter or from dog. Um, visual for now? Um, yeah, I, I do not know either. Yeah. We need to kill you. And yep, carnage was a mistake because I didn't realize... Oop. Didn't realize you could just walk in like that. Well... I expected it would take a turn for them to introduce themselves, and now we are dead. Retribution. When the knight's side gives two strength to all allies. Yep. We are at... Well, we're at 20 health. We're at a little more than last time. But yeah, the 15 damage on the knight's attack definitely is terrifying.
Definitely try and kill this one. Oh, they're in a line, so I hit both. That's pretty cool. Honestly. Alright, and... Yeah, don't die this turn, but... Oh! Oh boy, here it comes. Looks like death to me. We are fortifying as much as possible, and it's not going to be enough, I don't think. Unless we get some good dodges. And we die with that last hit. Got it. All right. Well, now we get a sense of how this game works a little bit. All right. So it is a bit like... Um, so now we understand how the different classes work, how the abilities work. All right. Clandestibles and... So now it's teaching us all the feeds we had to choose through randomly. We unlock the heritage screen, which is something we had to pick early on and not really understand what it was. Um... Heritage points to get stronger. Got it. Level heritage points. And every 50 heritage, all of your vampire lords gain 10 max HP. Some heritage have multiple levels of upgrade. Alright. Gain five. Alright, so we're figuring out what we want the blood clan to grab. Alright. So we have four heritage points, and we need five to grab any of these. But Alright, max blood will increase, limit of blood lance, variable skin, gets plus one more, got it, kills vampire lord for three, got it, so it's those sort of things. Alright, so this seems to be more around rooms, this seems to be more around minions, end of every invasion, figure it out another time. Alright. So, now that we get a sense of how it works. So, Shape Fate did not seem very useful. Um, starts with minus three terror. Alright. Lord has 50% less gold income. Alright, now I understand how what all these mean. So, Misunderstood starts with minus three terror, is why we didn't have much terror on this side. Um, which is why we didn't have all those terror abilities. The plus one intelligence and plus five percent dodge were why we were focusing on magic. Alright, barter if I actually were able to use the merchants more effectively. Alright, less gold income, so they can't really use merchants as well. Um, plus three lesser minion every second night. That's pretty nice. Starts with two thorns. Alright, so whenever we get hit, we hit back. Starts with So this is the tank. This is our tanky character that, like, makes a long fight and doesn't really get much money. Now I actually understand how all this works. Alright. Unpopular Prestige and Seduction starts at minus three. So this one is our terror, I'm assuming. Resistance to physical damage by 10%. Starts with one lifesteal. Starts with plus one strength and two multicast chance. Alright. Oh yeah, also... Bolster fortified defense or reflect terror end of every turn. Oh, so you can decide to either inflict terror or to fortify your defenses. Alright. Mark you in bonus after you hunt it. Alright, so this is you pick a target. Yeah, this is our DPS, our. Alright, and then here starts combat with one vulnerable. So this is not our. This is. Anyway, one finesse, one multicast. Starts with additional trinkets. Starts with one random entertainment room. Alright, so this is our finesse based character. This is our. Yeah, I think I kind of get a sense now. Alright, we're gonna try Serendoni because. Well, yeah, we're gonna. Let's see, this inflicts terror and is a tank. Starts with three, two thorns. Alright, so this is gonna be. Are a more tanky version. This is gonna be our more. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. See, yeah, there's. So there's blood we tried last time. Ferocity. Deals physical damage with a chance to apply weak on target. Alright. So this is comes with blood pool. Oh, I gained five blood for every. I didn't realize that. 
five attack skill use this combat? Chance for every leftover AP at the end turn. Got it, got it. Okay, now that I know leaving action points behind is good. Alright, so it's a... Let's try this one. This is a more complicated room. We're going to try the more complicated rooms, because this gives us more space to make rooms. And I didn't really care for this. This also means there's two rooms between... So we're probably going to start our center and have to, like, choose where we start the fights. Alright, got it. Can I not select this castle? Why is it not? Let me... Hmm. I guess we have to start with the starting castle. Silver chest! Oh, uh, one of those situations. Alright. So now it's just... Explaining it again, I think. Yep. I understand this now. Got it. So now I actually understand this properly. Alright, before I choose this, let's look at our um, our current abilities. So we start with Feast. Um, this is recast, initial recast 3. Alright. Or plus 1 for every attack's plays. Alright. Target loses 3 morale for each attack at the end of turn. Alright, all right. so this one's breaking down their morale. That's actually pretty cool. Um, Alright. So this one actually is about breaking down morale, which is pretty... Like, honestly, choosing Terror and Feast is pretty good together. Um, gain three physical armor and one point of momentum. What does momentum do? Momentum might be how we got blood. Alright. So, initial recast, three. Stack at the end of turn. So yeah, we can basically just hunt down an enemy. Alright. Does terror attack to all hunters... Alright. So with all of that in mind... Pummel? Let's see. Lash out of the enemy, strike with sheer strength, deals two physical damage twice, reduces the cost of your next obliterate by one AP. Do I even... I don't remember obliterate. Alright, so that's a skill we don't have. So, Pummel allows us to grab something called obliterate later. Alright. The faster you are, the more damage you can withstand. Gain physical armor equal to your finesse. We are right. I think we're going to have enough of that. Enough physical armor. Alright. Bolstering your being even further. Gain 2 AP and reduce the... Alright, I don't... So this one requires claw, which we don't have. This one, um... Reduces the cooldown of obliterate. And the 2 AP, we're just not... We found last time we don't have as much... You save AP. Duh. We figured out that as we were coming back. Let's try the pommel for now. No minions, no decors, no rooms, and obviously no fame yet. Alright. And they're coming from above. Let's just go meet them there. Alright. But yeah, this... So I'm not going to really talk about the art. I'm just talking about the gameplay. And... It has some good resources. It just, like, needs to figure out some stuff. Alright. Gives morale to him. Alright. This guy has armor, so I'm actually going to kill the one in the back first. Uh, bone armor, we're going to... We are on offense mode. Alright. Perfectly good. Recast limit, 5. Initial recast, 1. Four damage. Five percent chance to fly weak. Yeah. So right now this doesn't really do much. It's we want feast as our main priority. Got it. All right, and we managed to weaken. Oh, that's what momentum is. Four damage, eight damage. All right. One point of momentum. 
So we're gonna just armor up. I can't tell how much armor that is, so I'm just going by this to say we are at six. All right, and we just continue feasting at this person. Ooh, I can just switch over and gain armor. Duh. Sweet. And we switch back to Terror. Okay, I actually like the switch of Terror and back. All right, they're dead. And I'm gonna, apparently when we don't um, use our AP, we get some additional stuff. So, I'm actually gonna end my turn here, I think. So yeah, multicast chance plus 1%. Sweet. So I'm just gonna use this to gain enough physical armor. And we're just gonna keep biting at him. And keep re adding more terror. Four damage below just attacks. All right, let's switch to greens of terror so that we gain enough armor. Yep. All right. Does it weaken enemies? Yeah, so um, if you, as you lower enemies' morale, they um, get weaker and weaker. And, like, they start taking more damage. And then also at Serm, um, it says that when they get to 50 or 0, it also um, stuns them for a round. So if you can break their morale, you can take them out in an easier way, basically. Alright, strength and stamina, I think... So, Finesse, Stamina, Dodge Chance, Strength, Multicast Chance, and Crit Chance. Alright, I'm gonna go with Berserker for now, because the Multicast Chance is apparently something we're pumping up. Actually, I might just go Crit Chance. I don't know, I don't want to take... Let's, um, really quick see what skills we have. Alright. By attacking your enemy, the more health points you have, the more damage you deal, up to your current... 10%. Up to 10% of your current HP. Okay. So this is, you want stamina for alpha. Got it. Every Gains one recast every three turns. So this would deal 10 damage right now, and then if I get my stamina to increase my health even more, it can deal much more. Alright. During, you get buff for plus two constitution. Unfortunately, I cannot afford this because it's a 5 cooldown. Hold up, hold up. What does my... This... This reduces the cost of your next obliterate. That was none of these options, I don't think. Alright. So if I just make you more and more bloodthirsty... Alright, so this is more of the obliterate stuff. I think I'll go alpha and get myself more constitution. With this buff. Alright. Next stack will give physical armor equal to damage dealt. Um, gives 20 magical armor. Reduces all damage taken by 10%. Um, Alright. I think I'm going with the 20 magical armor to just prevent certain... So this one I don't really care about because I'm going to gain enough physical armor with my abilities. This will protect me from magical damage. This reduces all damage, but I've been finding that apparently it round. It, I think it rounds down, and therefore I don't really care for this. I'd rather go Clarion Cloak for when I need it. Alright. Gives three fame points. And plus three prestige point every two nights. For your boss kill. Grants five experience at the end of every night. Gets five more experience at the end of every night. Yeah, I don't... Okay, the plus two life still instantly is pretty good, but that's it. Um, yeah, I want something that, like, scales with every knight early on. Even though this one is worth more gold, this one gives me more scaling immediately. Three by three. All right, hold up. It has two trap slots, two minion slots. All right. I'm going to put this, um, this is going to be the, 
Yeah, we're early on. We're going to put it here so I can actually put my minions and decors in areas that actually work. I'm gonna save these so that what I can do is I can add them in after I once I get to more threatening enemies. So put that there, put that here. Okay, I'm getting my priorities. Get strength, physical damage by plus one per point. Sound of Plus five per point. Oh, that's what Constitution does. I misunderstood the difference between stamina and Constitution. Alright. If I grab the right one, anyways. I think I'm not scared of either of these. So. We're just continuing on. Alright. Magic garlic damage, and this is precisely why I have this trait. So we're going to use that, and hopefully this thing doesn't last long. All right. And we're just going to kill you as fast as possible. Them, and this should give us four because of the way that ability works. Awesome. Yep. Just navigating it through properly. Four. And we just keep dropping him with terror. Pretty awesome. All right. And dead. Yep, and so the thing is, if I set my minions down, I would have lost my minions to kind of affect these creatures. I don't need to do that right now. Alright. Let's just keep applying weaken and get their result, their moral, low as I can. Alright. Now we switch over. We have five. We now have nine. That's enough. gonna use these for now for a simple reason um, I want him to lose some more morale before I switch over that should be at eight yeah this is a little small I would like how you hover over thorn I wish you can also hover over your armor because it's just it's a little small sometimes for me to see what it's doing but yeah, the way this character does combat just makes sense to me. Alright. So we have damage reduction. We have life. Plus two life still plus one stamina is my immediate thought. Um, Leecher, I think, beats out perception. All right, let's see what these are. So, exploit the weakness of a target. Deal an additional two damage to all hunters for every week. All right. Gain plus one for every five times an enemy is weak this combat. I do not like wake because I need so much weak to support it. Indulging your primal instincts. Um, get plus one strength. And each attack also deals five moral damage to this turn. That, I think, might be uh, the option. And... Will of Bones. Especially when they inflict themselves. 
Gain five physical armor and one things. Okay. Gets plus one recast for every three bone armor used. All right, I can see Wheel of Bones. I can see monsters. I need to think for a moment. Let me look at my uh, character. So if I replace Pummel, so I, I have four AP now. That's the important part. I have four AP now. So the question is... So if I use Monstrous, I'm getting that plus one strength. I think right now I want Wheel of Bones, but that could definitely change. I'm going to use Wheel of Bones now and go for the Weecher, but that can... Be, this could end up being a mistake later. Alright. Is that all set up? There's some fame. Do one trinket. Gain three ram traps and two lesser minions. Do all hunters at the end of every turn. Wait, hold on. So I think I just want to get three terror immediately. And I think I want to get some prestige because I don't have another way to get gold, really. Alright. So here's where I put this in the correct room. So now, I can choose to have one of these. See, so damages one random hunter. So they're all coming up from above. And each of them has at least two people. So let's get a javelin and let's grab a bear trap and see how this goes. Oop, hold up. This is why I spend gold on. This counts. Alright, snare trap. Hunters cannot move during invasion for two turns to move this one. Place our gold up. Alright. Heals vampire lord by 5 HP. Alright. Yeah, look, it's a very complicated. It took me a long time to figure it all out. We're going to grab a Lesser Goron, and we're going to grab some Blood Flies. We're not going to use them this time, but... That is something that, now that we know that the Merchants only come a few times, it's good to know. And let's go to Merch. go. We now have a Gorgon. But we're not going to use them again, because these are all low-level enemies. Were you a Smash fan? I was wondering if you saw Multiverses. Yes, yes. So, Super Smash Bros. is... Alright, so we're going to just go in as now, so just really quick for the game we're playing. Um, figure that out. But yes, I've been looking at Multiverses and just seeing how the gameplay looks. It's pretty cool. So, I'm, ho I'm hopeful for it. But, right. One's catching the breath. Desperate Call of Strength. We're gonna kill this one ASAP, I think. Ooh. I think there's no blocking, only a dodge. Yep, if I'm correct, that that is how it is. Yep. Right. This costs two action points, and this costs two action points. Alright. The question is. Do I let him weaken before I use Alpha? I don't think it makes enough of a difference. I need to get that damage out now. Alright. Alright. Get rid of that chomping attack. 
right? Let's do it this way. So, it'll give us five armor. So five. So then we use two bone armors. Or actually, hold on. This bone armor should give us enough. Yep. Awesome. Let me just keep chomping at you. Alright. So with 15 most thorns. You should take more damage than I do. I think we take out this guy before his strength buffs start overwhelming. Alright. Yeah, the, the no dodge, the only dodge. So I like that as a person who plays Rogue Legacy and that sort of stuff. It's just, it's definitely weird. I'm not going to deny that. Alright. So this will be 8. Alright, there. That should be enough. Yeah, I can keep biting and keep flying terror. So that bone wheel does help and just... Ooh, boy. Those thorns should be, are going to be coming in handy today, it seems. And we're out of resource slots. And we're taking some damage now. Which seems not bad. Oh, wait, I have lifesteal now. So it isn't bad. We're leaving him there, and we want this attack to go through, so that we can um, get our health back, basically. But yeah, is there a character race law that you're excited about? Um, I actually really like for the fact that they're focusing on a multiplayer, and I'm actually really excited in um, how that will continue on. Like, it's, it's something very distinct, and that makes me very happy, you know? Alright. And we'll do the... I don't know, maybe Game of Thrones characters. Oh, right, right. Alright, so let's see. This is gonna be eight. Eight. Fourteen. So I will take one point of damage, but I have two life steal. so I'm gonna just keep the terror on. Alright. Five damage from the villager. That's fine. Actually, hold on. Let's just kill. There we are. I haven't actually seen how any of them really play, play really, though. Yeah. Um. I'm, I'm really interested in the Iron Giant. They revealed that the Iron Giant was in there, and I'm just like, that's childhood. So now I know not using my AP increases my multicast chance. I'm going to actually not use my AP, which is something I wouldn't do previously. Two. So now I have a better multicast chance, and I'm still blocking all the damage. Alright. And they have three levels of so we're just tearing through. What? There. I don't like the screamings in the background music, but other than that. 14. Perfect. And yeah, 60% morale. This is the round. Alright. There I have Mr. Me Seeks as the training dummy. Yep. I believe there's a theme that um, Bugs Bunny can create that creates more Mr. Me Seeks, like just a random theme he can get. So yeah. Stuff like that. To be honest, I'm like with a with like the characters that are available, I think it's cool. 
But in all honesty, I am a man of um, show me the mechanics. So, okay, so let's see, four, eight, 12. Yeah. Is the game music too loud? Alright, thank you for letting me know. Because I can't really check all the time. Alright, turned it down. There we are. Thank you for letting me know. Because a lot of times I'm just kind of flying by what I sense, not by um, what's available to me, you know? Flying week is pretty nice. Alright, 14. Then we just do this routine. 14 armor. Awesome. Yeah, and then we're, we're just constantly reducing their morale with this build. Which is something that I wasn't doing with the previous build that is a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm gonna do three bites this turn. Try to get more weaken on them. And just save the AP to get more multicast chance. There we are. 14 taken care of. Alright. Get rid of all of it. But yeah. Alright, so now we're getting 100 gold per because of my room, I think. Let's see. All right, so we have one more opening for our items. Um, we have our armor done, so now it's just kind of damage and survival. And also, if I could get some magic armor, that'd be nice. Plus three constitution. Now that I know constitution increases armor, um, one block every four turns and one constitution. Block fully negates next attack. Okay, we might just pick bear skin. Yeah, bear skin or toughness. Pummel? Okay, so we can grab a better pummel, I think is what this is saying. Um, reduce AP cost by obliterate by two instead. And gain plus one for every five feasts. We still don't have obliterate. Inflicts two, always inflicts two weak on an enemy. Um, target loses three more. Alright, so we have a weakener. Inflict further pain on an enemy afflicted by weak. Double the amount of weak stacks on target. The skill... Um, Alright, so double weak stacks. Or apply weak more easily. Or I can just grab a stronger pummel. Which, honestly, the stronger pummel sounds like what I want to do right now. Because pummel was not bad. It just wasn't what I was looking for as all. Well. I'd rather have... Yeah, I don't think any of these really stand into where I want to go with this build. And Obliterate might be a worthwhile build path. Yeah, I don't really want to do the weak build path right now. Um, and the Pummel build path gets me... Like, this is just increasing a thing I already have, so... Let's improve Pummel. Place Pummel here. Alright. And now we just need to decide whether we want Bearskin or Toughness. I think we'll go with Toughness. But not Bearskin, because sometimes when we get those hits, we just get that obliterative hit, and we want to get rid of that. Increase old Golden come by a lot. Grab a random trinket every three nights. Gain a trinket choice every fourth night. All... Alright, so a room of terror, we can... So one option is we can do a room of terror here, and then um, we can just break their morale and just face them here. Or we can start gaining random trinkets. 
or we can increase gold income by. This is a level two. I don't know if that means that we. Oh no no! I think it just means we get it at level two. Right. Three by three, two by two, two by. Th All right. So it's whether I want to put it here, in one of these two rooms, basically. All right. So it's either gain more random trinkets, which are like my clarion cloak, or just. Oh, this is level two as well. Okay, yeah, we're picking this level two on then. We're grabbing the Room of Terror. And we are putting the Room of Terror right here. It's perfect. Alright. I wish. Oh, you could just use WASD. Makes sense. Alright. So we now claim. Deal five more to all them. Alright. Start every combat. All enemies have weak. Also gain one lesser minion at the end of every night. Wow. We're at 12 already. We gain one gold every night. I might grab this just to get... Yeah. One trinket choice could be really useful. So I might grab three points of seduction. And then three points of prestige next. Yep. That's probably my plan. These are all coming from this side, so we can come here. Traps are you broken once used. Okay, good to know. Actually, I think it's broken on the first room. So... Kill Lord. Alright, so notice this thing. I think this is... I think it's time where we actually are dealing with serious threats, and we have to start considering like that. So we're gonna put. I'm gonna just put two, um, a lesser gorgon. I'm just gonna put two lesser gorgons and a lesser undead in this because I don't know how the kill lord, if the minions are still gonna be around when it's time. Because yeah, I, if I don't know if this is all gonna trigger on the first fight or not. All hunters. Let's just do it. They're out, fares. We'll worry about the rest later. One night more. Alright. So yeah, this is my main problem. Everything breaks instantly, so I get this one good fight, but I want to save those traps for the next theme, but I couldn't really. Yeah, that was my problem. Alright. We're just going to try to kill you in the back. Alright. Mm. Alright, so we already have plus one block, so we could probably just... Let's see. Right? this properly. Get you dead. Awesome. Then I could armor for five. Armor for ten. And we'll take two. And then we'll heal it back immediately, basically. Alright. Looks good. Let's get you some weakened stacks. A shortcut button. Is there like a? I can hit three. Oh, yep, yep. There's a shortcut button. Good to know. That was not the button I meant to press this time, though. All right, whatever. Just negate this footman's attack with tons of armor. All right, and the bear skin still. Um, Remains active, I think. Alright. 
I'm not killing him because I just want to guarantee something with um, the bear skin. So I just want to make sure. Oh, he didn't even attack. Okay, so yeah, it just keeps stacking. Cool. That's all I wanted to make sure of. Alright, so then this one enters and there's no traps or anything. Got it, got it. So that's the problem. Alright, and we're definitely killing you while we still can. Alright. And this is where we start tanking up. 17. And we're taking 20 damage. So then we just... Pop. And now we're at 22. How sweet is that? Alright, yeah, so the combat, once you figure... There's like... There's cool systems with the combat. It still needs like some perfecting, but... There are cool systems here that can be played around with. Alright. Ten, seventeen. There we are. Alright, and with that, he gets dazed, which means he's not making an attack this turn. So we just deal as much damage as we can. And just take him out. Awesome. So, yeah. Now we have our boss fight. And because of the way the traps worked, we actually didn't get much support. Alright. We don't have um, any block stacks. But the Wheel of Bones should be enough. So, we're going to Wheel of Bones and then double bite. Try to start getting some weak stacks on them. Alright. Eight damage volley magical. Alright, so this is where the clearing club comes in. And we just keep fighting. I'm gonna alpha here while I still have good health. Try to get more weak stacks. Focus fire applies two days and focus fire debuff. Focus fire explodes, dealing physical damage to target. Alright. For every day stack. Okay. So I don't dodge. Got it. This character doesn't dodge anyways. So we're actually pretty solid here. We're going to save that alpha because we're not taking damage yet. And I would like to get more weak stacks as you see. So now they're allowed to move 14 morale from my um, Wings of Violence. That's a total of 19 morale. Which is more damage. We dazed them. Perfect. Take 15 and additional 1 physical damage for each daze on the end of this turn. Um, I'm just trying to figure out if I'm supposed to be blocking this. Yeah, I think so. So it's 15? it and now we have blocks ready um let's see so this will give us eight which i don't want to lose my block so i might just shift there get more thorn usage Oh, they're at zero, which means they're taking as much damage as would be possible. Which means it's time for the alpha strikes. Alright. Alright, 
focus fire, we're taking some da we're taking some damage and then a magical damage. Oh, we can use this to block the magical damage, and then our block stack will take the other, as we just focus on killing this guy now. Seven damage. Yep, and look at that. Do even need it? All right. Right, all right. So we have people coming from the left. All right, we're gonna take care of the looters first. So we're gonna keep them in this room. Sweet. Is that just a default plus four constitution? Sweet. All right. Plus two life still and plus one stamina, plus four stamina. I actually think that the leecher will be better for us. Um, I don't really care about the dodge chance, so right now it's just Leecher and Undying are the two perks in my mind. I like Leecher better. Alright, let's stop. So let's look at these. Really quick, I have five action points. Good to know. Plus one to physical and magical armor gained from skills. Cool. Alright. So... Yeah, it's le it's basically leecher. Just wanna guarantee. So the first one is earthquake. All right, hold up, hold up. I not getting a check. All right, so I will have to remove pummel for this. Okay. So this is an AOE. Foundation inflicting all of your enemies with weak and dealing three physical damage. Weak targets lose three morale for each stack at the end of the turn. Rural players unmatched. Use it to gain three physical armor and one strength. Gains one recast for every eight attack skills used. Alright. So this is tank up. This is, yeah, this is an instant tank up and gain damage output. The unholy strength falling through every bones. Gain plus 10 percent multicast for two turns. So I think it's just going to be resilience because it's giving me more strength. Um, yeah, resilience. Earthquake is better once I have strength. Resilience helps me get strength. And then as for Unstoppable Force, um, yeah, multicast, I feel like spending a resource for multicast isn't as good. So yeah, we're grabbing Resilience. I'd rather pick Leecher over Undying. Alright. So I can gain plus one perk choice, or I can gain plus one, get more gold and a merchant trinket as well as getting one trinket choice. Let's get the tr merchant trinket real fast, because we are currently, we have one trinket, and I'd like to turn that into two. That fortunate part, one pummel is still not good enough. All right. Make next single attack into a piercing attack, which I'm assuming is it breaks through. Increase crit chance by 5%. Every time you play 12 attack skills, gain 1 AP. I think it's going to be um, blood infused wine. Well, then again, next single attack, maybe not. Before I do this, let's actually. Um... Yeah, I'm going to gain. Um... <laughs> some merchant. Alright, so the merchant trick is literally just like a chance to get merchant. Alright. Increase trick crit chance by 5% or gain more action points. Because yeah, Blood Fuse Wine, it seems good that it makes a piercing attack, but unless this um, piercing attack is killing them, not really much point. We don't really have any crit builds. Let's just go with Forgotten Coin, I think. Yep, we equip the forgotten coin. 
Probably not the most. Mo it's probably one of the less powerful items, but. All right, we have 600 gold. Let's. I mean, once that can crystallize at the start of every combat, and then gains one magic armor. Okay, so it's only plus. So this is basically just one plus one magic armor. Not really worth it. Plus two stamina, plus 3.5 all around reduction, but that's a thousand. Alright. Gain two stack, four or five at the start of every combat, not really needed. Gain two stack of crystallized. Lord heals five HP at end of every night. None of those are really that useful. On use, 10 moral damage to single target. Also deal magical damage equal to the morale damage done. On use, instantly heal for 10 HP. Usage to limit 2. That's terrifying. Alright, so let's look at our runes. Increase gold income. Alright, I think we want the runes then. Because this is a 2x2 two two and a 2x3. Let's grab a trader's room. And yeah, I don't like minions and traps. The minions and traps just don't... I feel like there's more to it that I don't understand. What do these do? This is a use item. I think it immediately uses the item, in which case I don't want that. Yeah, I don't want anything that just gives immediate... I want something that has passive effects right now. Try to build for light gain. Alright, I don't have enough for that anymore. I actually like Quinarian Treasure, because I can possibly do stuns at will by like choosing the right time to hit morale thresholds. Either that, or I can just grab a Apprentice Rogue Rack, but I don't think that's where I want to be. Alright. And we're gonna leave the shop there. Alright, cool. So we got that figured out. So we have the Quinarian's Treasure, which we now know is a passive effect to deal with. We have another room. This is a 2x2. Two two. And this gives us a decor slot, a trap slot, two minion slots. I'll put it here for now. Alright, so the two that are trying to destroy Coffin are coming from this side, and I don't care. Minions and traps and stuff I don't really care for. Let's merge these, because why not? We're not using our plasma for anything else. Alright, I don't really... So the reason I'm not using minions... Is because unless it kills the enemy, I have to go there and kill it anyways. And they're not... Like, if this was a boss enemy, I'd be like, okay, let's drop some minions there. But it's not. Alright. Just want to make sure. We now have Resilience instead of Pummel. Because Pummel, we don't have um, Obliterate. So it doesn't matter. We have a bunch of lifesteal, we have a bunch of constitution, we have a bunch of stamina, and then we have a way to gain strength. And between clearing cloak and um, bear skin, yeah, between clearing cloak and bear skin, we should be able to handle magical damage dealers. And the rest of it, with our all of our armor, we should not be threatened by non-damage dealer, non-magic de casters. This room could be a little threatening, but I think. Maybe one trap or one minion would be enough. Yeah. I might use the beast, but... Like, drop, drop a beast here to just hit those guys a little harder, but that's really it. That I can think of. And we'll drop two lesser undead here. See, hopefully that could make sure those guys don't become a threat. Alright. 
Oof. Yeah, this game has a kind of... Yeah, it's slightly the Spire esque in a lot of ways. Um, Alright, cool. So... Strangely enough, this is actually the threat. And this is cooldown of three turns? Okay. So, we're gonna start by actually dealing morale damage to you. Then... Because morale damage reduces their health. And then we alpha strike. Two... One... Alright, there. And then we'll use that to give ourselves some magic armor. So now they don't deal damage, and we... This guy? Alright, I'm willing to take 9 damage if it means killing this one now. Has to be clear. Alright, we kill the priest, and we still have space left. So we have 4 constitution. So this 5 physical armor is actually 9 physical armor, so we're not even taking damage from this guy. And that's the power of our build right now. Alright. That's 7 armor. That's more. And we're just gonna try a weaken you for now. Ooh. There we are. Yep. We... This build, I figured out what was going on this time. So now that I understand the system, I can actually leverage the system to my advantage. I have a... I mean, I could just use this and kill you. I think I just get it refreshed immediately, so I don't even have to worry. Nope. Alright. So, I want to kill the person in the back, but I also want to survive the knight's attack. Alright. And with 4 constitution, this will give us 7, 14. Alright. Start fighting you to get some more damage on. Alright, just saw the thumbnail on Twitch, looked like you were playing Darkest Dungeon. Is it similar? I'd compare it more to Slay the Spire, honestly, um, than Darkest Dungeon. But, yeah, it's. It seems pretty fun. Um, where are my manners? How's it going, Suicude? How's it going? should be enough. So yeah, we're just kind of... Right? This is a new game. This game's still in early access. We're figuring things out. Um, there we are. That's what I was looking for. Strength damage. I have another week of vacation for once, so I'm doing very fine. Glad to hear. Glad to hear. Alright, so they're stunned, so I don't have to worry about that. I think I'm going to be able to kill you, like, with one hand. Yep. Alright. So now we can use that. So yeah, we basically built a good tank build right now. Um, I'm doing good. So in case you're wondering, I got, um... My first day on the new job was Wednesday, so like, yeah, I'm doing great right now, Suicude. Thanks for asking. Alright. All goes to fish off. Alright, so we use the two skeletons to make that easier. And now we just move on in and take him out. Easy enough. And we dealt some good damage to the hunter, which is what I was hoping for. Alright, I think I could just... Alright. Wow, you guys are all just gonna end. So let's clear and cloak. Take care of you. Then we're gonna 
smack you around for some resolve damage. I don't think I can kill you this turn. That's okay. So that's seven, and this is nine. So there, that should be enough. And I think it's better if I actually use two bites because those will recharge faster and they can weaken. So with that, we block all damage. Yep, it is going well, but definitely, as you said, a challenge settling in. some armor on our way out. So we might take a little damage, but it's okay. What am I doing? You're not the threat. You are the threat. You are the one who can deal magic damage. You need to go down first. Alright. So yeah, I only have... So I can use these things to basically get a bunch of block against physical damage. But I can only... Um, block magical damage a few times. Alright, and I'm actually going to save the AP because this will give me four multicast. Alright. Seven. There you go, that should be enough. Sixteen. Yep, and I have four life steal, so this is more than enough. Alright, cool. Yep. Yep. I think I need to see a fresh run to comprehend what's going on. Yep, this game is... It's one of those games that's... Like, there's a lot of comp complicated involvement in it. And I definitely recognize that myself. And it was actually what turned me off at first. This game did turn me off at first because um, of all the weird things going on. There's the fighting mechanics, then there's the stage building mechanics here that we're doing now. There's the leveling mechanics, there's understanding how all this works. All right, so there's going to be a lord coming from the right. So we're going to want to start here and then um, move in to kill these two. And we have a lord that we're going to be facing. Yep, all right. You yeah, know, so all you need to know is we have action points and like everything is built around these two. Like our build is generally around two setups. So one is feast, which is we're breaking down their moral. The lower their moral, the more damage they take as well as at certain points we could stun them with moral. And it just deals damage to our theme. Um, this, on the other hand, gives us physical armor, and this physical armor blocks attacks. And so what we're doing is we have this build where alpha deals a ton of damage as long as we're at full health. Um, and we're trying to like leverage that to deal a lot of damage. Um, resilience also likes us when we deal a lot of attacks. Um, Wheel of Bones makes it so we have... Yeah, these two abilities are basically giving us enough physical armor that physical attacks aren't a threat as long as we have them charged up. The thing is we have to charge up kind of as we go on, which is one of the hard parts. All right. We have enough life still. We have enough constitution, I think. I think we want um, Warrior just for the strength, honestly. Just getting the additional damage could be really important. Um, plus four stamina could be nice, but I don't think that's where we want to go right now. Um, Shark Fangs and Crit Chance. I think we, right now Warrior is what I'm looking at. Here. Alright, so no Mercy. Um, deals two times damage to an enemy afflicted by weak. Weak target loses. Alright, so this just deals more damage. Um, no Mercy, I don't really think is too... Yeah, it doesn't seem like really where I want to be. I think I already have everything Mercy gives us. Alright. Each attack also deals 5 morale damage this turn. Alright. Mercy could be good. Bone Dust Concoction. Use a concoction of magic enhanced bone dust to gain 5 magical armor and plus 1 intelligence. Um, you need plus 1 recast or plus 1 recast every 2 turns. Alright, there is no... We do not have an outsmart, so I can't really use Bone Dust. Um, what does Intelligence do again? Magical damage by one. So, unfortunately, like, Bone Dust seems like, seems okay, but I think Monsters is actually where we want to be of these options. Alright, it looks intriguing, but what a mess of a word. Yeah. It's intriguing, but 
So this is an early access, and one of the things I have to say is simplifying what's going on is definitely something they need to work on. Alright. On use, reset all cooldowns. That's pretty cool. Um, that being said... Oh, trinket usage limit. Oh, so this is if we're, like, we're facing a boss. We equip that and we just don't worry about it. So Forgotten Coin might be replaced for that sort of thing. Yeah. So we have Magic Armor and we have Quinarian Treasure, which I like pretty much. So I'm thinking, which one am I even interested in taking if I take one? Um, one Thorn doesn't really matter. Um, raise max HP doesn't matter too much. So I think we're taking Phoenix Essence and we're not equipping it. Because we want to save that for, like, specific boss sites that we're scared. Yep. Yeah, go get your drink and snack. Um, we have one more slot available. Currently, Pummel is a good slot for it. I might just, yeah. I'm gonna pick Warrior to get plus two strength, plus one strength, plus two stamina. I think... Morale damage. So this can help us with our strength scaling. Um, let's see. So this would is. So no mercy would replace alpha. So we're at 125 health. So no mercy would replace alpha as our damage dealer. Well, I think, yeah, I think we just go with Monstrous here. And we just decide whether we want to be Monstrous or Pummeling. I think we'll go with Monstrous for now. Because we have enough damage. Honestly, with these two strength builds, I'm probably going to grab Pummel in place of Alpha. Because Alpha gets two physical attacks, which means it's dealing... For, this is dealing 8 damage for 1 AP versus this is dealing um, this is dealing like 12 for 2 AP so I think we are replacing that with alpha and we are grabbing strength and stamina there we are so now we have a ton of stamina we have a ton of strength alright we have a lot of minions a few cores We have a new room. Every turn of combat, it's three by three. We'd have to demolish this to get the new room. But that is, I do like the minus three morale. Gain two random decors instantly. So let's see, this is giving us, yep. We're keeping the Room of Terror. So what? So what's happening now is we're getting a room, and all of them are three by three. So we're basically we're destroying one room to get another. I'm keeping the Room of Terror up here, and it's the question of do I? So this destroys, gives us experience every night, but we are going to have to demolish it. So the question is, do I want to um, put a Room of Terror and have that for a lasting effect? Or do I want to gain just um, some decors and, like some decors and a trap right now? I think the, and, and like the thing is, I kind of want to demolish now. So this is 225 if I demolish, this is 250 if I demolish. So I just need to decide, do I... Oof. Oof. I definitely think I want to demolish this one. And the question is, just do I want to put a Room of Terror? The core is like this. Okay. So we're going to grab a decor. Or we're going to demolish this to gain the gold... And then we're actually going to go to the shop next. Alright. This is the core to gain a plus 1.5 multicast. Gain two sub 
reduction every night. What are these? This is the core. Gain two life still. Gain two. Alright. Increase gold income by 150. Life still increased by one. This is a trinket. Lord did not deal critical damage in five attacks. Gain one opportunity. Okay. Yeah, I think so. With 660, we either just grab the treasure room. So one thing we could do is we grab this treasure room, get two de two random decors, or we can grab these guarantee our specific decors. Um, I'm trying to think what MS even is. And what's the size of this? Two by two. Okay, so we could grab the trader's room and actually have this growing with us. So I think we grab that. And that brings us to 360. I have no idea what MS generation is, and that's the main problem right now. But we have we have it, so now we set our rooms up. So yeah, these rooms like so. The heck. What's MS? I'm trying to figure it out. So, plus one MS regeneration. What's MS? Why can't I apply it? Am I only allowed one? Okay, we might only be allowed one room at a time, which means... Whoa, this changed! Alright. Okay. Good to know. Apparently those things can change. We immediately got three fame points, so... Well, three fame points, I can't get anything except for um, crit chance, so... Ooh. I movement speed! Thank you! It's movement speed. I don't need movement speed. Movement speed is to get around your castle. We have a small castle. Well, that was a waste of our money then. I wonder why it's not letting us drop the room in. Might just be a glitch, honestly. Alright. We're gonna kill this person, and then we're gonna have to fight those guys. And unfortunately, because of the way the system works, we can't really protect ourselves against the Lord. So we're just gonna fight. Um, we have Monsters and Resilience, which will help our pummel. Got it. Let's go. Might as well just push our way through. So yeah, MS at the top left corner. We have plus one MS even though the night has just begun. All right. So I think we want to kill the person in the back. So where do you see what attacks and from where? Um, at the top right corner, it had a theme of an up arrow for the first guy, for this first group. Then it had two left arrows for the boss and the other guy. It was right here before I entered the fight. So, fortunately, because we now entered the fight, kind of hard to show. All right, so we're going to do Monstrous, and we're just going to start breaking this person apart. Just rip them to shreds entirely. Um... Do that.
just keep reducing their morale. Oh my gosh, and then I could use this. Um, Quinarian treasure. Just rip apart their health. Alright. Priest heal, they're stunned so they can't do that. So now we have some damage coming at us. So it's 10... So they have 10, 26 damage coming at us, which sounds bad until you realize we have four constitution. So this is seven. So this is seven. Seven, 14. All right. So we just need to block 12 more. There we are, fully blocked. And we can't, unfortunately cannot injure this person through the 10 armor, but they will lose the 10 armor on their next turn. So let's just send a bite over to you. All right. Magic barrier. All right, and this is the sort of stuff of why we're killing you first. All right, we actually have four life steal, so I might just take this 10 damage and focus on getting rid of you. All right. Actually, hey, I can just equip that. Nine armor, I got four life steal. Oh, not even, didn't even matter. All right. And also, worth noting is we keep getting um, abilities. So yeah, we have plus two strength now. They're stunned because of all the weakened. That's awesome. Let's return the favor on you. And let's just try to break you. Successful. We're going to end our turn here with three AP. Um, get their armor to go down. Alright, 14. That's close enough. Hey, we're still getting more. Yep, might as well. Increases our strength. And, so yeah, we keep getting all these strength buffs. Um, so yeah, we have like four strength, which means every attack is dealing four more damage. Four thorns. Um, gain back AP. Let's see. We have a stack of block now, so even if they manage to get attacked through, it's not going to go for long. And they're dead. Alright, so now comes the next wave. So you can see this wave in the top right corner. They're searching for you. So these ones are searching for me. And this one is um, the boss looking to attack me. So they're both coming from this side. And they're both looking to kill me. I'm going to come in here. And then hopefully I can meet the lord in, in the next room. Because this other room right here gives also does a moral damage to my opponent. You are new. But neither of you are threats really. All right, I'm going to take out the big guy up front because the big guy up front is capable of doing things I'm not expecting. Eighty. Seventy-five. Just really quick. Seventy. Okay, so even though it's two attacks, it only takes out a little more. Good to know. All right. So yeah, as they have reduced morale at 50, they get stunned. So yeah, he's stunned, so I don't have to worry about the 16 damage. And he's going to start taking more damage. Um, yeah. It's basically a ramp build where I get more powerful the longer the fight goes. Yes. The thing is, my build is also all physical damage, so there's also special damage. So if you think about in... Um, if you think about it in Pokemon terms, I have a lot of attack and defense, so I'm worried about special attack and special defense. Like, I'm an Onix or something like that. So if I see a caster... That's threatening, I need to take care of that fast. I have this ability to gain 20 magical armor to help against casters, but that's it. Um, anyways, as you can see, I have like seven armor. Then I add this, I now have 16 armor. So this perfectly blocks the damage and they're gonna take some damage back because I'm a, I'm a boss, basically. So I'm just gonna keep hitting them. Um, their moral keeps dropping. As their moral drops, I deal more damage. And if I can kill this guy, then I don't have to work, like, then I only am fighting at one front, basically. This, all, these both increase my strength, so every time they pop up, I just use them immediately. That's why I'm attack using them without much consideration. Awesome. So I'm sa so you only have a certain amount of uses, this is the 0 out of 3, the 0 out of 4. And every time I use this, it starts re- And this is where it gets complicated, because every time I use this, it's like restacking some of these. And every time I use this, it restacks this. Every time I use this, it restacks this. Like, they're all kind of stacking. 
So I'm kind of just spending them as I need them. But it's technically strategic, but also it's just kind of pressing the button when the button pops up. All right. 20 resolve. All right. So, again, 16. So I'll just use that one more time. And you are completely blocked. Ah, accidentally used it again. Oh well. Now you're really blocked. Now you're super overblocked. Oh well. Anyways, it refreshes when I get to the next fight, so that's why I'm just expending my resources. Oh, I forgot to use my Quarren's treasure. Alright, please stay in that room. Darn it. So if, I, if they stay in that room, I could have basically had a huge moral reduction theme. Oh, they're just a, the twin arrow person. Alright, that's perfectly fine. Alright, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take this damage and just work on ripping the resolve into shreds. I am happy taking this damage with my four life still. There you are. Alright, so I take 10 damage, and then I'm gonna gain four back immediately. And now here's where the magical, the scary stuff happens. So now they're using magical attacks. I use this to block the next magic attack. And then I just keep biting into them, trying to deal as much damage as I can. Alright, we'll worry about the physical armor. You need a barricade card? So this is basically what barricade is. Every three turns I get a magical barricade. This is my um, physical barricade and why I'm not too worried about it. Alright, they're at 51 resolve, so they're going to focus fire. And then they're going to, like, get stunned. And it won't matter. All right, so if I have this AP left over, um, it increases my multicast chance. That's a special ability of this character. So I'm actively not gonna spend it, so now I have a 3% multicast chance. They were trying to heal and they cannot now. We're reducing the resolve as much as physically possible. All right. I'm going to use this twice just to start buffing this up. Alright, so now they are they have zero resolve. So the point of this terror would all constantly reduce the resolve. It's at zero. I now crit this. It switches to defense. And I get five armor. And so now I don't have to worry about defending myself anymore. And... Use that to get myself some thorns, and you're dead. Oh, a card that lets you keep your block. Right, right. Not yet. Alright, Knight 7. We got 6 fame, which we'll end up spending later. Monstrous, I can increase. Um, gain 1 power for every attack done this turn. What's power? What's power? Gain one power doesn't mean much if I don't know what power is. Um, power yourself, gain two more strength for the duration of the encounter. I have enough effects like that. Additional two damage. Alright, so this consumes weak. This is a good finisher. Um, but... So this is a good finisher, but I'm not sure I want to um, use it right now. Like, right now, I'd rather just upgrade Monstrous, because whatever power is, it's good enough, probably. Um, strength, Finesse, and Intelligence. Intelligence, Constitution, and Life Steal. I mean, I don't need intelligence at all, but strength is better. I might just grab Acrobat. Yeah, I think I'm just grabbing Acrobat because Finesse is useful, Dodge Chance is useful, and the I just don't really care for intelligence. And we're just going to grab Monstrous Upgrade because I the other two don't really help me much.
We have another boss fight, it looks like. Ooh, we have two boss fights. So I won't want to start here. Kill this person here. Alright, so now the question is, what do we want? So, we could gain... We could gain three finesse by going seduction. We could gain one tr perk choice by going terror. Or we could gain one random room by going prestige. Alright, we want... We want terror. We want terror. Claim the perk. Alright, plus one action point. Plus two... Plus one strength, plus two stamina. Alright. I think it's either warrior or energy again. If I have more energy, what am I even spending it on? Is my main issue. I literally don't think I could spend the energy fast enough. So I think I'm going to go with warrior. So yep. Three strength. One finesse. And yeah. Yeah, it's just really weird. Strength and Stamina is always a solid choice for your build, I feel like. Yep. Alright. Do we just start? Do I want to say... Alright, so there is a Lord there. So I might as well... Like, I'm not using these minions. Um, it's a single entity. So... We might as well just fill it with, like, lesser Gorgons or something like that. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna just fill this bottom room with lesser Gorgons. Can I use this yet? Yep. Yeah. Nope. Of course. And at the end of every night, heal 3 HP. Probably doesn't even need it. Can I pull these out? I cannot. I might not want to even use that, because knights are so... Like, I gain 4 health on like every every turn of combat so that decor is like it's better sold than used no need for traps right now yep i think we just go on so we're gonna have a fight of three people we're then going to um face this plunder and then we're gonna have to face the lord i might i might let the Plunder, keep maneuvering around rooms so I can face this lord in this room. In the Room of Terror. Make sure my trinket setup is good. Forgotten Coin could be replaced with Phoenix Essence, but it's like... The only thing that has cooldown is Monstrous, so never mind. Yeah, everything has no cooldown, so... We just move on. Alright, so first we kill off a group of three. Once they're dead, we start the boss fight stuff. I will state that this game... D Mages burn. Apply one explosion on target. Target explodes after one turn dealing. Alright. Oof. Give two thorns to self. We will have enough bone armor that that doesn't matter as much. But my gosh, these guys are actually terrifying. Okay, you need to die. You need to die. Right now. Don't think I could kill you this turn, but that's not going to stop me from trying. Let me say that clearly. Alright. Good amount of health damage. We have thorns. That's okay. May just burn. Alright, so they're stunned. And we're just going to try to kill you before you get the chance to get healed with the priest. Alright. And we're just going to save this 2 AP, I think. Alright, 
Spearman's Pierce. That's perfectly fine. So now we gain armor here. And that's 14. Perfect. Alright, next we want to kill the Magic Barrier. Alright. Then from here, we already have a multicast chance of 2%. So I think... Considering using Wheel of Bones now, because it gives us a thorn, but I don't think it ma I don't think it's gonna matter enough. Alright. So you're stunned. Was it two times eight damage on the mage a two percent multicast? Something like that, yeah. Alright. Oop, oop. Keep breaking you. Can we And you're dead. Sweet. Alright, so you're stunned. Guess we end the turn here. And we're not really worried about damage by that much right now. 14. 12 now. Use another bite. There we go. Yeah, the only thing they can do is thorns, really. And it's not really at a degree that I care too much. So he has two thorns, but I can put seven armor immediately. Bite, down to five. Bite, down to three. Bite, down to one. Armor, and... Go. All right. So yeah, this person's stealing my money. I want to hurt them now. And then hopefully I, c I can beat the Lord without much issue. Yeah. Evasion buff. Not going to work much if you're already stunned by the time it's your opportunity to use it. 70, 65, 60, 55. All right. So they're losing their next turn. All right. So they're already stunned. Sweet. Keep chunking through their health. Alright. Seven stab. And that's seven damage blocked. Implying the stab debuff. Got it. That's why you're doing it. And we're out of attacks for now. So we'll use that to increase our multicast chance. Alright. So we go to Monstrous, which will cause this to... Oop. Hmm. What's the stab debuff, by the way? I guess I never got it. Alright. Might as well go Wings of Defense. Alright. Well. 17 damage, but... Yep. Yeah, blocked. 20 damage finisher. Not as much of a finisher as you might think. 16 damage finisher. There we are. Dodge buff is insane. Um, permanently and will gain for every dodge attack. Alright, so when they dodge attacks... Oh, doesn't do anything because they're at zero resolve right now. Oh, God. Oh, still zero damage to me. First grab the armor, because that increases my strength as well. Alright. Alright, cool. We'll fight you there, I guess. How much HP does that thief have? It had a lot. You know, I just realized I probably could have gone up and the right. Oh, boy. 22 damage also applies days to targets. this. Alright. Okay. 
these guys aren't doing anything, so I am going to do the... I am just going to focus fire this guy. And then I'll worry about those two another turn. And then I use this to get myself 24 mage armor. Nice. Alright, absolution. Silence one ram skills from the Vampire Lord. That could be concerning. Alright. I'm just gonna kill you guys while I still can. Alright. We're gonna grab that before it gets silenced, just in case. What's. But my entire build is built around getting the, using that. Jerk. How long does it stay silenced for? For one turn. Okay, cool. Two lowest HP hunters, so leave them injured. Heals all hunters. Alright. Well, it's really quick. No, we're just gonna kill you with that. Still use rage. Oh, he removed my fear um, boons, but yeah, it doesn't matter. He's like doing all these buff effects, but it doesn't matter. Gives three power. So unless Resurrect is like fully healing, I don't... Oh, it doesn't matter. He's stunned because of my actions. Alright. Armor up. And then just keep biting. There you are. Alright, so you're dead. So now I can just focus you two off. Simple enough. Oof. Well, that was the bosses that killed me last time, so now we keep moving. Night 8. Kill Lord. And it's a ward with two wolves. I think we this is where we're supposed to set up everything we've got. Plus three constitution. I think that's what I would like. Um, unless I'm going to go all damage reduction. So it's either tank or tough. Immovable object. Gain two block stacks. Oh. Gain two block stacks. Got it. Gains plus one damage. Breach finesse point. Equal to the... De I think Wishbone is my magic armor boon. So yeah, Wishbone can give Wishbone can give us magical armor. Otherwise, um Yeah, the problem is a movable object has such a long cooldown. Gives three fame points. Two decor and one trap instantly. With three fame, can I even do anything? No. Alright, so we're gonna grab... Um... Treasure room? I think we're going to just immediately destroy this room. Put the treasure room in its place. And then we're gonna... How many... Do I, do I still not get a new attack? Okay. If I grab Wishbone... What am I using in its place? Because... Immovable object is actually pretty insane. Um, immovable object would basically say I do not need Wheel of Bones anymore. Which I think is a fair assessment to make. So... Let's see. I think a movable object is... Because we already have the trinket that helps us, I think I'm grabbing a movable object. And I'm replacing Wheel of Bones for it. Alright. That's good. And then with that... Let's see. Constitution is already four. Bone armor is pretty nice with Constitution. So with... If I grab that, then every use of bone armor 
gives me 10 physical. So I could gain 10 physical. You know what? I might rip out Hummel. No, I need I need ways to attack properly. So I'm going to keep Hummel. Hmm. All right. So this is a question of do I want constitution or stamina and damage reduction? I think we're going with constitution. Cool. So now every one of these is 10. Then between these, treasure room, fame points. Yep. This we demolish. Alright, so I guess you could only have one of these rooms. So then we grab the trader's room. Starve every combat. Alright, in combat, put one decay buff on all enemies every two churn. Um, let's see, gives plus one intelligence. Wand of Nightmares, unfortunately not as good as I'd hoped. So I feel like none of these, yeah, we'll put a healing station in here, and the question is, do I want the Garden of Tyranes? Sure. Alright. Now we go to our minions, and we start readying for the fight ahead. So he's going to have two wolves and himself. So we should put in... Hold up. So we can merge a lot to get a lot of minions in. And we have plenty of plasma to do it, but I'm not even sure if it's like of, va of any significant value to do so. Because what it is, is you spend three of the same, like 10 morale damage to get one that's 20 morale damage and use plasma to do it. But the thing is, like, you basically lost the minion for, like, one big push later on. Alright. So let's grab Beast for, to help us deal with the wolves. Let's grab... I think, um, two lesser undead is actually out. A lesser beast and... Oh, Lesser at Dead, I think is how I'm going to do this. Alright, and for traps... I could draw him through my castle, but none of those are really necessary for me. Let's just fight. But yeah, definitely the castle building, there's a lot more to it than I understand. Like, why not just fight them at your doorstep? Why did it not trigger my traps? I have no idea. Three times. Oh my gosh, these guys, I did not expect them to have 100 health. Alright. Well, let's break these wolves. We're gonna start with you. I'm gonna use one use of bone armor. Just get ourselves a little support. All right. Let's see, magical damage. All right, so this is where we use our carrying book. Get ourselves a bunch of that armor. We're just gonna keep breaking this one wolf. best of our ability. There we are. Alright. 
And so, let's see, do we have uh, any penalties? Nope. Alright. So this is just physical damage and debuffs. Alright. There's 10 block right there. Alright. We're gonna armor up a little bit right now. Get our blocks ready for when we need them. Here. What's the owl do? From Victor Silenceo's Ultimate. Does one of three themes. Either heal self, gain plus one strength, or gains more out. Alright. We're gonna reduce your resolve right now, dear sir. I hope you don't mind. Alright. Deals physical damage four times. Okay. That is a problem. Alright. So that will give us 10. 20. 30. Right. Okay, there we are. Alright, so now we have 40 armor. We have 50 armor. So we can block his ultimate and that attack. Which leaves our three stacks of block available. This physical damage three times. Alright, let's see if I can finally get rid of you. Because if you're out of this picture, I can I only have to worry about them. 10. This isn't... Okay. Oh. I wonder. Does that stun him? Yes or no? Does not stun him. Alright. Oh well. We used one of our blocks, it seems. Alright, so we use that. Where are these abilities? Strength, magical damage. Alright, this is my decay. There's two morale. Alright. Gains a different rune each turn. Oh, that's what that's what it's saying. Alright. Let's get your fear, your morale to zero, so I don't have to worry about it. At all. Alright. Oof. There's a lot of stuff going on, yep. That is one of the main problems right now. Where does it say how many attack skills? I wish it told you. Yep, okay, so I needed that, so awesome. We now have six strength, which is pretty awesome. Alright. So... They're going to zero resolve next turn. There we are. So we want them to just keep gaining less morale if we can help it, basically. Alright, so we have enough armor for... Victor Silenceo's ultimate. Perfectly fine. Alright. So it's 32. So we'll just gain 40 armor. Fifteen damage to slice and dice. Fortunate the way we did this, but oh well. We're near full health still. Oop. So that's ten. Then we switch that, so we're at 15. Awesome. You know what, I'm going to use the Bulwark so we can refresh it later. So now we have four blocks, so if they ever hit us... Um... Like, they can't hit us right now. Um... If they ever can't hit us, sort of theme. Um... Like, 
we still block the damage. All right. Five damage to send forth Owl. We already have five armor, so we just keep fighting. Nope. That's well. There we are. Did I see that correctly? Yeah, he... He had 1,500 HP when this fight started, so... I don't know where you saw the 544 HP, but I'm going to just assume yes. Because this is a long fight. Alright, 40 damage for the ultimate. Guess what? That's 40 damage blocked. Congratulations. There we are. Oh, you can you can block your can blocks the HP air bar on him, but you move slightly so I saw five hundred forty four. Uh that's probably how much he had left. Yeah. Alright, act two. Sweet, so there's multiple acts. Kills the hunters in the wave. Okay, good to know. Good to know there's options like that. And we have the additional slots, so we could grab wheel of bones or attack enemy with intense killing fervor. Gain plus one recast to all skills. Um, gains plus one every three turns or plus one to outsmart use. Or I could grab. Um, additional block or bonus bone armor plus one recast. Nope, I'd rather grab. I'm gonna grab the immovable object buff, I think. There we are. So now we have an improved immovable object. We don't need too many skills, basically. Alright. One use, cast one ram physical attack skill with the scope of one enemy from your discipline. A better strong coin. Or unuse. Hmm. If this silences my attack, I'm doomed. So I'm not going to grab that. Book of one enemy from unused cast one. You know what? I'm actually going to grab Book of Many Faces and probably... Um, replace my Forgotten Coin with it. Because I feel like this is going... Because of the way action points work, um, I think that's going to apply more often than not. Alright, so I need to get 30 points to get a Terror Room. Alternatively, I could spend it to get one Random Room or gain three Finesse. Then I gain two trinket choice. And then I gain... And... Yep, no, I'm going all terror. What does Finesse do? Um, so Finesse was the only option I was considering. It is a little bit of dodge chance and some cunning. And cunning is how much crit damage does. Alright. So we have... Everyone coming up this way. Also, for some reason, I didn't trigger the enemies. Yep. Alright. So, looters, loiters, coveners, and a boss. Alright. And we have one more ability, which we just put Bone Wheel back in, I think. Yep. Put Bone Wheel back in. And we're good. I think we just stay the path. We don't really need to use our minions or decors or much at all. Yep. Just keep moving. Hold up. Yep. They're all coming from the same path, so we might as well. Alright. So it seemed like the last one, I think what happened was the invasion targets, he literally flew over it because of the way he, the boss works. So, thorns up. 13 damage, mage's attack. Alright, well, we're killing you ASAP. 
Um, rage. I forgot to switch the forgotten coin out. Oh well. Because I don't get to do things as fun. Alright. Getting the magical armor. And I guess we leave one AP out. Alright. Magic barrier doesn't work. Attack bonus buff. But you have thorns. Yeah, we're just killing you. We're just... Let's acquire that so that we could keep our block for later. Be warned, this person has thorns, so I will have to use my block accordingly. Wow. You survived. Alright. That's most of the block already taken care of. Alright. Continue. Oh yeah, we have 6 AP now. So yeah, we have enough action points. It's a matter of actually being able to spend it all, basically. So we have way more than we need so that I can start doing that. Alright. Attack bonus buff. Get ourselves 10 armor. Oh, he's stunned, so we just keep moving in. Alright. And this fight's about to end. Mages burn. kind of end our turn here, I think. Alright, he's stunned. Grab that so we can use it later. Um, I think we still... Yep. We might still use our um, ability, because yeah, this guy's about to die. We need to do this. Got it. Awesome. How does your multi chance ch chance go up? Um, every time I don't spend action points, it turns into multicast chance. So that's how. You don't have thorns. Let's see. Just want to make sure they didn't have thorns was all. all right. So if I don't spend a single one, I get 6% multicast? Yes, but I think it's only for that one churn. Which is why... You don't see me using it too often. Alright. And they just killed themselves with that attack, in case you were wondering. My thorn damage was too great. But yeah, this is definitely... Alright. 10 damage charge. Alright. And we just use one point there. To make sure that 10 damage charge does nothing. And we just want, basically, we just want to prevent that mage's burn from occurring. All right, we're just going to use that and actually, you know, use the effect and block damage without having to block. Just focus on killing this guy. Oh, three times on the same target. That was a mistake then. All right. Do we have any block left? Nope. Oh, right there. Misunderstandings at its finest. It's figuring out the system, you know? Alright. Oof. 
Hey, you're stunned. And no thorns? Night side, give two strength to all allies. Figuring it all out. There we are. Yep. Basically, here's the thing. Every like, right now we're powerful enough. We have enough of a build path that nothing's really a threat at the moment. All right. Cheat death. Attack an enemy with intense killing fervor. Deal 10 damage as the target dies outright. Gain plus one recast to all skills. This might actually be good because it has... Um, a lot of, you know, castings. Otherwise... Stoppable force. Yeah, I'm not even equipping stoppable force right now. What would be my trinkets? Unused Lord Gates 1 AP. None of these are actually really useful for us. Um, yeah. Built's pretty solid. I prefer the Book of Many Faces over the Forgotten Coin. Um, just allows us to get that one free attack in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so these two stays. Stationary, and then we have one, two, three, four, five of our six options. I think one, two, three. Oh, we don't have alpha equipped. Got it. Plus one action point. I think our problem isn't action points; it's actually killing the enemy. I might pick the AP just because none of these like it's either warfare or energy. Like, the AP does allow us to do a few cool things, but... Alright. Unstoppable Force. Nope. Alright, what's this? Brace your power and transform into Lack IDs. Nope. Alright, well, we're grabbing the Execute in case we... Um... Actually want it, I think because Execute could be another damage-dealing effect. This is stronger, but it's not really where I want to be anyways. I mean, I could Unstoppable Force to get some multicasts, but... Okay, I'm convinced. Currently, warfare. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting strength from two different sources. I still don't know what plus one power means. Oh. So yeah, we get three block. I still don't know what. Honestly, wheel of bones might as well be another attack. All right, hold up. Let me reorganize. So, we want movable object at the end. We want monstrous and resilience here. We want pommel. I think we want unstoppable force. I think we do want unstoppable force because we have we've shown that we have more than enough armor. Like this and this is enough armor, and multicast might be our means for getting that armor up. Yeah, between bone armor, immovable object, and our clarion cloak, we have enough armor. So, gain 50% chance to get plus one per turn or plus one recast every six feast. And plus one every five attacks played. So I think multicast is going to allow us to play multiple attacks, basically. Alright, we're going to have this just in case piercing ends up being useful later on. I think we actually want the action points just because that becomes crit chance later and we already have strength scaling, so. Gain four less for me instantly. Not really interested. Alright. 
Hold on. We already have a trader's room. So no need in a second trader's room. So we're going to grab the blacksmith, I guess. There we are. Alright. Both are coming from this side. They're searching for you. They're searching for you. Got it. Sweet. Um, I have place for two more decors. Do I want to use any of these? Nope. Alright. Nothing else to do? Not really. We have our new build. We will see if immovable object does its job well enough. Because right now, I think we have enough defenses, it's offenses that we're having some issues with. Alright. Again, we want to kill the damage dealer in the back. Alright, no thorns. Alright, one. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Don't know which one it used, but that's okay. I just realized I lost the multicast trigger thing. Oh well. And we still have one action point. Yeah, we did some mistakes, just to be clear. Alright, so you're stunned already. Awesome, we got 20 armor, and now we pummel you to death, and we armor up that way. Got it. Awesome. Gonna go to bed, it's 3... Oh my gosh, I just realized what time it is. Yeah, good night, sweet good. I might have to end the stream soon myself. So, thanks, man. Thanks for coming by. Alright. 13 for the Spearman's damage. So you have thorns, so we're going to worry about the person in the front right now. Alright, so this game, it feels like it's a good concept, it's just like there's a few little things that it just needs to figure out as it goes, that it hasn't figured out just yet. damage blocks. Perfect. Actually, you know what? Let's... No, 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 no. Nope. Never mind. Because I have the blocks I want to save. Alright. What? What? Why is it blinking? Why is it blinking? I wonder why. Huh, might have just been a glitch, honestly. Alright, gonna do this, do this, armor up, smack you with that, fight you with that. Perfect! Alright. Whew. Okay. Let us begin. So we're going to need to get the magical armor. We're going to kill the priest, and then we'll worry about this mage in the back. Rage. 
then we hit priest. Oh my gosh, again, forgot about the multicast. Alright, well, we're going to take some damage, that's okay. Because what's going to happen is we're going to take some damage, and then our life still is going to start healing it up while our bulwark um, helps us out along the way. All right, just clearing it out. We we're supposed to die, but that's okay. You have two thorns, so we're gonna now start working on the person behind you. Did I? I didn't take damage, did I? He's immune to incoming attacks this turn. Duh. Frostbite. End of every turn. Okay. Three physical damage. Alright, no dodge and three physical damage. Good to know. Good to know these things are affecting me. Because these are things I would not have noticed if I didn't read it. Alright. Well, experience charge is pretty easy to negate. Alright. First. want to deal as much damage as possible. And yeah, two of those should be enough. 20 and then... Alright, we're taking some blizzard damage, but the armor should block it. So we should lose one block. Yep, one block used. Fry spike. To... Alright, so they're stunned. So they gain immunity after taking enough damage. Got it. Got it. Oh, I need to do this just because um, the fro stop the frostbite from taking away my armor, my block stacks. Got it. All right. Well, we just keep reducing your resolve into nothing. I think. Whoa, what's this? Lost one HP this turn? Okay, that's fine. Use three physical damage at the end of every turn. Alright, so we just need to use two of these armors, and we're good. Look at that. Alright, I think that's the last of our blocks currently. Okay. I'm gonna use that and then just start wrecking this guy's face in because he's gained more thorns and he's also low low in health compared to two. Oh that's three physical damage at the end of turn per stack. Got it. I'm wondering why I was taking so much damage. So this is where we're going to start taking damage, now that I know how this works. Alright. So now that I know that the Frostbite is now, like, a ton of physical damage on me. I mean, I now know. That's the important part. Alright. And we'll get more blocks 
afterwards. Oh. I gained a lot of health that turn. I legitimately don't know what changed, but I will not be complaining. Not in the slightest. Alright, now they're immune. And to block it all, let's see, that's 16 times 3. I don't think I can. So I think I'm going to save my blocks for a future turn. Alright. And this does nothing at this point. Alright. Alright, now they're immune. And we're just going to block as much as we can. Alright. Cool. And we finished them off, I believe. Yep. So that was a fight that went, did not go our way because we did not understand the system properly. Alright, so they're going to destroy the coffin and we're going to face the Lord first. Alright, fair enough. But yeah, it seems like we're getting more powerful than they are. Alright, we one additional armor for each thorns. Dominate. Dominate your enemies, deal 4 physical damage. Your next feast does 50% more damage. Bloodthirsty attack works up fledge. The finesse on top of strength also buff your next feat's critical chance by 10%. Really, with your gains plus two for every one turn. Okay, that gives us the ability to actually use our action points. Because, yeah, we have three, four, five, six, seven action points. So, Claw technically allows us to use our action points more. Um, gates plus one recast for every five attack skills used. So yeah, we can end up getting a lot of claw, even if we don't, um... Yeah. Otherwise, we can will of bones for more armor. Not really necessary, honestly. Your enemies deal four... This feast does 50% more damage. I think it will be Claw. Let's look at these things. Plus one action point. Plus three more constitution. Honestly, I think we grab the Claw. And we grab the action point. There we are. I think that replaces our Unstoppable Force. Replaces the plus one multicast with less with all of the extra damage. The ability to just keep spending our AP, basically, is what I'm going for here. Alright. Six points left. We are currently at 24, and we need 30. Alright, perfect. Alright. So we have a slaughter room. Gain four lesser minions instantly. Um, all in minions take minus three morale. So I can replace this with another one, gain myself um, 250 gold before I enter the shop. Alright. So let's see. Yep, might as well. So we do that, and then so what we do is we delete this slaughter room, and then we put a new, or this room of terror, for another room of terror. And just make sure there's nothing in it. Demolish. Then we get another slaughter room. Perfect. So we lost nothing. We just gained more. Alright, now our minions are going off the screen. And now with all of this additional money, with 2,000 gold, we now enter. Alright, so we can just gain plus 4 stamina straight out. Shrink it. Debuffs enemies, deals triple damage for three turns. Then instantly dies. The core. Um, gives plus three finesse, that's very good. Every 15th attack skill uses combat. 
jewelry, get a random trick every three nights. That could be useful. Um, we also have gain two random three cores instantly. Some trinkets. One to three blood javelin on target. Each javelin deals. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, let's see how the blood trip. So this is 10% max health. If I purchase, do I just. Yep, it's auto used. Good to know. Honestly, this now makes sense to buy. So we're going to grab this to get ourselves even more stamina. We're going to grab this. And I think that's good for our purchases. Alright. The cores. Plus mess. Alright. Gives plus one strength. Alright, we're gonna save that for when I actually need it to core. So now we have just a bunch of. So I can actually um, delete this trader's room, get a new trader's room, and apply the new decor if I really want to. Alright, I'm going to apply my blood flies here, just see how that fares. Does it just give me 5 health, or is it do anything of significance? Alright. We've been... Yeah, we've spent all of that. Yep, I think we just keep going. Um, but yeah, we... Oof. Enemies are actually getting tough. But we have so many traps and such. Matters. Alright. 30 damage Paladin's attack. That was not expected. Alright. So. This turn we're going to movable object. Next turn we'll monstrous. I think. So, yeah. Retribution. Heals all allies 20 HP at the end of every turn. Alright, well, we could still kill the Squire quite easily. We're gonna fight the Squire. Alright. All right, so we block three attacks. Um, then we're gonna... Yeah, gate 20 armor. And... Feast. Alright, cool. We'll worry about the rest later. Alright, so next turn, put on Rage. Burn did not last, I do not believe. Alright, gain 20 magical armor. We then shoot you in the face for a lot of resolve loss. One bite, two bite, three bite, four bite, whatever this is. And we'll do one more armor up to just guarantee we have enough, and we'll rake ya. There we are. So that should block the damage. Crusaders just. Alright, just 15 damage, that's fine. Alright. Let's just start wrecking you. And we can just use one armor. Hey, we have a new follower, Eldris. Thank you very much. I might have pronounced that name wrong. <laughs> I apologize if I did. Um, all right. Yeah, all these action points makes this rake feel really good, actually. Um, that being said... It might have been a misunderstanding at this point. Paladin's heal. Just heal self. Got it. Well, you're already basically at full health, so... You know what? We're going to end our turn here. And then we're just going to do some real potent stuff now. 
Deal 16 damage. Bite. Oop. Armor up. Now we start just eating through your resolve like it's butter. Alright. There we are. 37 Paladin's attack. Alright. Do I still have any block? I have three block. Awesome. 40. Alright. So we're blocking his attacks. Just use that. We get the mage armor. Perfect. Just keep cutting through. Honestly, these rakes, just the fact that it allows me to spend all my AP makes them very valuable. Like, ignoring the damage output, which is also good, like, just having access to rake is nice. Can I just kill him? I might just be able to kill him. Right, zero is all. Cool. So yeah, and while I'm killing them, I'm also gaining health over time, so... Thorns up and Footman's attack. Um, you know what? I think I want to kill this Thorns up first. Um, but with a Footman's attack, I think I'm going to use a movable object. And... Then start worrying about things. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna just keep the plan. Alright. Yeah, I need um, 26. This is dealing, giving me 20, so. Unfortunately, I do not think I can block this, so I think it's just going to eat a block slot. Alright, so now I use thorns. Oh, did I eat two block slots? Darn it. Alright. I'm just going to use that to make sure I don't lose armor when attacking his thorns. Alright. But yeah, it's a lot of just like managing attacking his thorns properly. Make sure I don't do things wrong. Alright. Club. Alright, there we are. So now the thorns is gone. Awesome. It's doing good with all of my resources. Sell the block. 20 damage footman. Perfectly fine. We have 10 armor over there, from there. And then we just start having our bites and claws working in sequence. Gain our damage boost, as intended. Alright. Alright, now we break the resolve. Doesn't matter. I was like, I used the wrong attack there, but it doesn't matter because. Alright. This plus four, five, five, four attack to all hunters doesn't matter. You're dead. Very soon. You're stunned, and then you'll be dead soon. Go. Cool. Now we just come meet you. Not here. Simple enough. Alright, we'll pass their turn to gain power for upcoming skill. Okay, let's put as much damage as we can into your face. Darn it, dodged. Alright. 
Alright, so hopefully that's enough resolve damage. So that should help us a lot. Call on reinforcement. Summons four hunters. Alright. So this is where... Starts with 15 fortified. When he dies, he buffs all his allies with 10 fortified, 5 strength, and 5 intellect. Alright. Well, we're going to have that now. Oof. Keep breaking through. Try to get that resolve down. Try to get things broken through. Oh. Like, full on. Okay. Well, we have three blocks. That's very important. You know what? The magic is actually not threatening right now because um, I have this um, clarion cloak. So I think I actually kill these armor guys and such. Alright. Let's increase our armor. Twenty. Thirty. I have to, so I have to attack, so I couldn't, um, use that and the bone armor to get the block I wanted. Alright, whatever. Let's keep rolling the resolve. Oh, that, was the attack that came first? Alright. For the land, Khmer gives morale to all hunters. Okay. Free seal, rally, and another 40 damage. Alright, just keep breaking through. Keep trying to kill one at a time. Alright, so now we take 20 damage, so I just need to use this. And now we're good there. Um, we'll kill the priest next, I guess. Hopefully this guy doesn't summon additional, because if he summons additional, I'm going about this the wrong way. Oh well. We still have three blocks, though. So, we're pretty solid. Alright. 26 damage on the footman. Unfortunately, that means we're going to just lose a block there. Self-centered. Plus five fortified. Darn. All right. Oop. That means I might be able to block the footman's attack if I get a few more things like that. All right. Which one do I want to kill? I want to kill the one with the lowest health. Not enough to block, unfortunately. So that was a misuse of resources. 38 slashing damage. We have two blocks for that, at the very least. Alright. Weighted armor. Just prevents him from taking too much at once. Let me start with that. Oop, I can 20-30. And unfortunately 35 is not enough, so I don't know which one attacks first. That could cause some issues. Keen attacks first. Darn it. That caused issues. Oh well. Oh no, we are now taking actual damage. Oh woe is me. What is power? Oh, right here. Game plus, plus 5% damage done for every power. Oh. Oh. 
I'm now really happy with the upgrade. I never read that. power. Feels good, man. We are out of block, though, so we will have to do something about that. 21 footman damage. Unless, of course, you're dead, but I think killing you is going to be a little rough. We'll see what we can do, though. There we are. That's good enough. We now have 20, 30, there you go. Awesome. You're getting close to dead. 42 damage and keen slash. We are going to block that by using a movable object, I believe. Yep. We are going to save... We're actually going to save this to um, actually use as instant speed block, I think. Now that we have these blocks. And this, I believe, only... Even though it says it deals two, I think it only actually applies one, so... Alright. Continue our route. go. He's at zero resolve. I believe this will only take one block, even though... Nope, it took both blocks. Never mind. Alright. Well, that is good to know now. That is good to know now. But yeah. We are just chunking through their health now. They don't have any thorns, do they? They're fortified, but not thorned. Got it. Alright, in case you're wondering, I'm doing my resources in a way in which um, I get my resources back fast enough to use them all, you know? Alright. Night 12. Alright, up, left, up. So they... So I can um, go here. So I'll be prepared if I just start here. And then they'll enter left, take them out. This person... And will come meet me in this room, I'm assuming. Alright. Yeah, I don't want them plundering my money. Execute. Crystallized quicksand. Conjure a sand-like substance several times stronger than metal. The sand protects you from taking damage. Gain one crystallized. And plus one recast to bone armor. And gets plus one recast for each bone armor used. Hmm. The crystallize really doesn't matter, as far as I can tell. For every 50... Alright. None of these are really where I'm looking to be. I'll probably grab the crystallize just because. But... Oh, I have another slot. Yeah, might grab the crystallized just for... Berserker plus one strength... Plus one multicast and crit chance. I think that's going to be my pick. Um, just because of the plus one strength. So yeah. For each 50 HP of your Lord's current HP, gain one power. But we already have a way to gain insane amounts of power. So we don't need that. Like, that will give us three power. But the other effect gives us, like, eight so we'll grab crystallized quicksand in case we ever need crystallization. Game four lesser move. Vampires have plus two power in combat. Um, I might just take the room of terror just in case I need to reset it again. Or I could just yeah grab torture room, get four lesser minions, immediately sell it.
Yep, it's the most expensive room. Why not? And Berserker. Yep. Okay. So, I will like Invincible all the way at the end here. So the question is, do I want a Wheel of Bones? Or do I want to... Um, use this. For every three bone armor used. For every three bone armor used. Alright. So... If I got the upgrade one, I'd probably take this, but we will be taking this. All right, let's reorganize this. So now we have, okay, hold up. So let's reorganize this properly. So rage, break, claw, claw. All right, cool. Apparently, Book of Many Faces doesn't work as I expected, but still better. You know what? We might actually be able to use Forgotten Coin now that we have Claw. Now that we have Claw, I think Forgotten Coin is usable. Alright. Not really using rooms right now. No real decor, no real other items worth considering. So, one night more. Let's just keep moving. Alright. We just keep getting stronger. I feel like we're getting stronger faster than they are. Which is how these roguelikes should be, but also means that the scale should inevitably cap. Alright. Magic barrier. Alright. Rage. And then we can strike you for some magic armor. Alright. I don't like the screen in the background still. And we still have enough AP to just use a movable object now. Oh, also. What the heck? Right, I guess I'm supposed to do half Forgotten Coin. Oh, duh, I switched to Forgotten Coin. That's what's going on. Alright. So now, to block the 28 damage, just bop, bop, bop. And now we have the crystallized quicksand for when we will need that. As we just continue to claw our way through our enemies. Yeah, the fact that I just have like this combo that I can just start setting up and charging up a bunch of resources is pretty insane. And we just have 3 AP, which we can use to increase our armor, or I can just save to completely demolish the... Like, here. Oh, no. Tw oh, he's stunned. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. All right. Well, you're about to die. Let's just get you out of the way. But yeah, like, these guys are now, like, just built for me to lifesteal off of. They're not even, like, threats. one do I need to kill first? We're killing you first, then thorns. Oh, oh, use rage. Then there. Alright. So now we fight. Oh my gosh, I forgot to block. Alright, we're gonna take some damage, and then we'll just start healing up during the fight, honestly. Alright, and you're stunned, and we're taking 13 damage from the charge. Alright. Well, let's use this now. Alright, 
and we need the block anyway, so might as well use this one. And we'll... Oh, you have thorns? Okay, well, actually we can then just use that to keep our armor up. So yeah, even though we're at 14, you're fine. Alright, and then we still have three blocks, which is fantastic. Alright, so we need block 23 damage. It's perfectly acceptable. There we are. There's 30 damage blocked, and we just need block three more. Which... Honestly, as long as we attack this guy, we'll be fine with that. So unfortunately, we did have to switch targets, but... 30 damage. That will actually do the last of the blocking. Alright, cool. Figuring it all out. Figuring it all out. All right, you have thorns, but you're stunned. Let's just kill the non thorn guys, make it easy on myself right now. Yeah, no reason to run into thorns. Let's just deal some damage there. Get our power even more. Alright. I like all these attack boons we have now. Really just kind of stacks up in amazing ways. Alright, 36 damage. Looks scary. But then, there's 10. There's 20. We use that. There's 30. There's 40. Great. Completely blocked. And now we even have a resilience if we need it later. Right. Just figuring it all out. So, like, I think this game, like, if I have to give an immediate opinion, it's not yet ready, but very much it has the pieces to be very, a fun game. It has all the pieces that I'm really interested in how it goes in early access, but... Oh god, it's you. Alright, kill everyone around them. Then, I have crystallized. I can actually deal with this issue. Alright. We're not going- we're going to take damage intentionally on this first turn. We always kill first. Alright. No more? Alright. Let's do that. We're gonna take some damage. That's intentional. We could have even taken five less, and we chose not to. Just in case anyone's curious. Alright. So they're dealing 17 slam, so I need block 23 damage. I think we focus on killing first, actually. Well, we'll use that. We're going to switch there to get the 25 to perfectly block, so we still have our full... Alright. So when you're in this mode, I think it's always just worthwhile to do the switch off. 
All right, that 30 is going to go through, but we don't want this 20 to go through as well. Basically our plan. Just get those set up. Then... Awesome. Got 30. So we survived that hit. We survived the frostbite, but that does take a block, unfortunately. We do have to kill all the guys around this person, because I just can't deal with all of it at once, but... Like, if this thing had less health, we would focus fire them. Seventeen damage slam and fourteen damage frostbite. I think I might have miscalculated. I'm going to lose a block. I have three block right now. How much do I have at the end of this? Two block. All right. Unfortunate. Forty-two damage knight's attack. Sub focus. So we're playing this game. That's um. Someone gave me, the developers of this game gave me an access code, thinking, um, it's called A Few Nights More, and the developers of the game gave me an access code, because they thought I would like it, and I'm enjoying it, it's just, hmm, it's, it definitely is unpolished, it definitely still, like, still needs, they still need to, like, figure out a few things, but, um, like, it has some cool strategies that I'm, like, obviously manipulating, because of course I am. Alright, you're invincible, so we focus on you instead. Do we bother trying to block that? We have- this only gives 20 magical armor. No. It's a- yeah, it's turn-based- it's a turn-based roguelite. So, apparently I will get stronger, but... Alright, so we lost our block. So we're now taking 30 physical damage each turn. So we're about to start bleeding out health, honestly. So we need to start closing this out in damage. Alright. Alright, we're taking 30, right? So let's block 20 if I that. Yep, awesome. 30 damage blizzard. Alright, we still need two more turns before we get our block back. break your resolve more. So when we're breaking their resolve, it means we're dealing more damage with our next attacks, basically. So it is worth the while to use. Um, from there, it's like, there's a weird combination where um, certain abilities synergize in new plays. It's hard to explain off the beat impact, but alright. We're going to armor ourselves up. And we're going to take some damage again, but hopefully- Oh my gosh, I forgot to use my- I forgot to use my shield. Alright. Well, we're going to just start chewing through their health. Best of our ability. Alright, they turn invincible. And we're going to increase our armor as much as we can, which is 20. Make that 25. Alright, and we might as well keep the defensive one now. What class am I? I'm basically a brawler. That's the best way to describe it. I am a brawler class. Um, it's not exactly called brawler, but basically I'm a brawler. Um, there's families, which are mi minus well be classes, yes. Um, how much crystallize? I have five crystallize, which actually means with clarion, I should be able... Yep. Awesome. We have a movable object, so our next few attacks are the... Damage is going to be ignored for the next few attacks. Alright. And so this, like, claw-feast combo, it's basically I do one attack and the next attack is going to crit serve situation. Um, let's see. Can I get enough block to stop the frostbite? I do not believe so. But I think getting the crystallization is worth the while anyways for me to spend the active points. 
There's no point in me... Actually, Monsterous does have a point. So this is going to deal zero, right? Of course. I think this is based off how many attacks I make, not how much damage is done. So yeah, when it has this barrier, they're immune to incoming attacks for the rest of the turn, so I have to, like, balance out how much damage I'm doing, basically. Oh, already crit. 49. Nice. There we are. Awesome. Now I should take them out in time. Um, that's the only enemy that's been able to really deal damage to me. So we're going... I'm trying to, like, as fish as I can. Uh, Alright, so we have a golden enemy now. So we have six more fame. So let's see. We already have 30, so we need to spend 42. Start every turn. Deal 20 more morale damage to a random enemy. We're already dropping their morale to basically zero. Um... Gain plus three heritage points. I don't think these are really important for me anymore. Gain one ram room, not really useful. Um, decors and trinkets, get one more chance to be rare. The room has 10% chance more to be upgraded. Um, at 81 points, gain plus three heritage points. All right, so these are all just giving heritage at plus at 81. All right, I think finesse is actually gonna be useful compared to the Two tr tr trinket co choices might not even show up, but I think at 30, it's like it's such an investment. Like, it's such an investment to get to 30. There we go. So now we have Finesse. Finesse is going to help with our crit chance and stuff, but that's not really where our build is. Two life still plus one stamina is honestly the best of these options. The none of the options are really good. All right, let's see. Rapid Gash. Um... Not really useful. Let's see. The art of combat is all about repetition and performing. There exists an alternative. One secret. Gain altered odds buff for two turns. If your next skill is not the same as the skill you use, gain plus one power buff stack. We already have enough power buffs. Assess the situation attacking two enemies. Do cleave damage with your next two single target attacks. Pragmatic, I think, is where we want to be. Because pragmatic um, is going to allow that claw bite to just start slaughtering people. Grab Pragmatic. Of these options, Leecher is better than Scoundrel for us. Actually, we're getting crits, so Thief might actually be valuable. Now that we have crits being an option that's appearing, Thief might actually be the path. Um, let's see. We got rid... Yeah, we got rid of Alpha. We no longer focus on our health score. We focus on Claw, which gives us... Yeah, more crit chance. Let's actually go for Thief. So yeah, Finesse gives us more dodge chance and Cunning, which is just crit damage, basically. So this is 30% crit damage. and or this is So it's a total of 180% damage on a crit. Um, good dodge. Multicast is nice, but not where I'm going for. Um, so... So I also have these minions, but minions die in an encounter, so I've never really had a need to use minions. And yeah, we're kind of just like, yeah, traps don't work on golden bosses. Where's the decor? There it is. Two stack of critical eyes. Um, game once. Reduction every night. Oh, so like it gives one there. That is actually pretty cool. All right. We only have place for one more, so there you go. All right, I think we just go for it. We have everything set up as we want it to. Um, we're just going to face this boss with 151 health. Um, nothing to really do. All right, what are the classes? Oh yeah, you said are there classes, not what are the classes, yep. Um, so another one is like a blood-based like magician. All right, what's this? Grand Marshal gains 1% damage reduction 
per stack. Every time Lord uses a skill, lose five stacks this turn. It resets at the start of every turn. Oh, so I need to do setup to, like, break their stacks. Lose two morale. Damage at the end of turn. Weak stays on until combat unless dispelled. So there we blocked it all. We're gonna bulwark this turn. And then I think we're gonna kind of save up our resources. I'm not gonna use my devastating stuff, just my bites, because we always get enough bites. Break the resolve a little bit. I think we just save that action point. Yep. Alright. So let's see. One magical damage at the end of turn. Oh yeah, that's my res that's my abilities. Alright, physical attack damage twice also deals two bonus damage for every burn stack the target has, but we have no burn stacks. Alright, so we just need a block ten damage. Alright. Let's start with our combo. Um, actually, I might. Yep. Ooh. Let's use that. So we aren't doing as much damage, but we are breaking their resolve to pieces. Alright. That's okay. That's the attack we would want to use. Anyways. It's only 10 damage, so I'm going to save this for later, actually. We still have two blocks. Alright, so they're dispelling themselves and regaining morale. Alright. So, we use this turn to just do what we do. Claw, bite, claw, bite. Get ourselves more resources for later. Awesome, and we now have two Resiliences. Alright. And Resilience, in case you're wondering, is like the first trait I want to use, and I can use a trait. Alright. Yep, it's all, all percentage-based, so I'm okay... Alright. Oof. So yeah, I'm a brawler, so I use all physical damage, and I basically built my character to be able to just do a thousand attacks, as you've been seeing. As you might be seeing. Um, we have also all this block and healing and stuff. Alright. great. Charge greater power for an upcoming skill. Let's see if we could just use monsters and break them. That'd be great. That'd be really great. Alright, but yeah, we have a ton of action points, and usually the problem with too many action points is you can't actually spend them all, which is why I have all of these abilities that allow me to just spend my action points. Alright, they're already at 331 health left. 45 damage Sunbeam. Sounds threatening until you realize I have 3 block. So I'm just gonna take it. Um... Here. Just keep moving, keep biting, keep clawing. Alright. Pernese, 30 damage triple attack. Not actually that threatening. We can now use that block to get ourselves around because he has his resolve now done. Let's just block the 30 damage. Alright, now we... Because here's the thing, he wants us to use our abilities in a certain order to get through his defenses, so... 
Alright. And now he's about to die. And we're at nearly full health. I'm gonna leave him alive at one hit. Because, specifically... Um... Renew. Oh. Okay, so now they're alive again. So, Awakened. 20 morale and plus 2 power every turn. Okay, so we have to kill them quick now. And they gained their resolve back. Okay, well that's actually good because now I can use Quinarian's treasure to keep breaking their resolve. Alright. So we're actually going to bite first because bite restores itself as we attack, as you saw there. We're just gonna oh but he doesn't have his defenses so we are just eating through his health good all right and now he's a 33 damage paladin last which sounds scary until i gain 30 armor in a single round like so and then i'm still doing crits and still eating through there just making sure that that aura isn't something I'm unprepared for, because that aura does seem to change at times. Alright, they're charging a spell. They have power stacks, they have awakened. Alright. Nope. We just keep moving in. Keep clawing their face in. Yeah, all these different abilities, they like... It's complicated, because like this thing, it recharges as I deal attacks. This thing recharges as I do this attack. This thing charges as I do this attack. This thing charges as I do this attack. That sort of thing. We have five blocks now. I think we just take this 50, 60 damage Sunbeam. Honestly, Clarion's Cloak is unnecessary at this point, I believe. So this Rage, it's going to allow us to start breaking through his morale. While also... Um, letting us... Um, gain power, which power is just increasing our raw damage of it. So, like, we have plus 10 strength and plus 23% power. Yeah, 28% power. So, we're like dealing over 100% more damage. The 63 looks scary. Um, it's three times. Okay, I'm gonna grab one buff there. Might as well. Not gonna be using it later. Let's grab some crystallizations. Alright. 42 damage, triple attack. Let's start by gaining 35 armor. Let's make that 45 armor. Perfect. Ooh. 16 for the Crusader Strike. Um, so all these penalties that he's giving me, like basically I can't block anymore, but the rest of the penalties do not matter. And it's just a matter of like gaining enough damage to actually get through all this health. Why do I feel like I'm not dealing as much damage as I should be? Oh. Do they have resolve now? Let's use our damaging thing. Alright, so they are gaining power, which is something that is threatening. Oh, that explains it. They're at full moral. That's why they still have so much power. That's why... Makes sense now. Alright. 51 damage Paladin last. Plants. It's all physical. It's 30, 40, 50, 54. Perfect. Done. Alright. Uh, 
Now they're just charging a spell, which means we might want to use this, but first let's just keep doing the damage we can. Alright. I'm going to use that several times. Oh, I didn't... Alright, we have six blocks, so who cares about the A7 damage sending? We are still using that because I think it still reduces it. And we just keep cutting through their health because they're not a threat to us as far as I care. Alright, six health left. Their damage to my thorn damage killed them. Alright, that's Act 3, I believe. Alright, let's see. Any new treat kit? Gain three thorns. When you kill an enemy. None of these are really useful for me right now. Um... We'll add that to inventory, I guess, because we don't sell. Slaughter. We finally found Slaughter. So, just a sec. I want to show. Alright, so both of these are open. Reduce AP cost of Obliterate. Not Slaughter, Obliterate. Darn it. Never mind. I think we grab another Bear Skin. Honestly, Bear Skin stopping, like, the super heavy attacks is the way we've been surviving. And everything else seems unnecessary, honestly. So just bearskin, get myself more defense. The intelligence doesn't matter. Um, and deal damage it severely multiple times, both physically and moral. Targets. Attack the target one to three times for two physical attacks. A plus one re recast for every ten attack. During times like this, you get buff for plus two constitution. Not really where I want to be. Gain altered odds buff for two turn. Um, if your next skill is not the same as your last skill, gain plus one power buff. Again, we already have enough power buffs. Well, we are going to gain two additional skills. Probably just pragmatic and... What's this one going to be called? Slaughter? Yeah, pragmatic and slaughter, I guess. All right. Move these all back, so... We always, like, bulwark at the back. Then rage. Then this. Then I'll grab slaughter. Scratch. And... There we are. That's our use list, I guess. Sounds good. Alright. No fame. Torture room. In a random trinket every three nights. Max room limit is one. Thank you for letting me know this time. I didn't realize that previously. Alright, I'm gonna grab jewelry. And probably, yeah, just rip this out. And put jewelry in there instead. Wrong one. Whoops. We'll worry about that later. Let's buy our stuff. This gives six fame points. Um, every five turns, deal 40 morale damage. Or it heals three HP every fifth attack. Gives plus one constitution. We're gonna go with fame. Um, I think I'm good from here on. Yeah, I think I just save it for the next place. Like, I'm trying to think why I would buy. Snare trap could be useful. Yeah, we'll buy a snare trap, and then I think we just 
leave. We don't really need the money. We don't really need the resources. We now have fame that we could spend. Oh, right, this is going up. So we could get two trinkets. Um, starve every turn, deal 20 morale damage. Yeah, we're just going to start increasing our terror as if we can actually reach it in time. Alright, we have another boss that we're going to be facing. So, once we have this all set it up, which we seem to do. Do we have a 2x3 that... I could rip this out for more decor slots. What would I put in it? Or gains plus one strength for every 20 attack skills used this combat. Hmm. Yep. Let's do it this way. Jewelry. Let's put some good decors in here. So... Let's do ones that I'm okay losing. So we're going to get one lesser minion at the start of every night. And we're going to just gain plus one strength. Those are two I don't really care about, but are useful. There we are. And then we continue slaughtering enemies as they come through. And hopefully, because we've gone through so many bosses, the game will get us far enough ahead that we can just start moving on. Alright. 40 damage... And gain 20 holy power. Okay. Gain 10 power and 30. Okay. Alright, so this is a four step boss. And. Alright. So. Oop. What? There we are. Alright, that's something. Eight constitution now, so that's actually at twenty three. All right, get those things reduced. Power of the cores gives plus one max HP to pylons. These things are just resting. All right, so I just need to make sure. Um, this thing never gets the max holy power. Alright. That's fine. We're gonna bulwark now, since we have the opportunity. Just figuring it all out. Alright. I just realized that magic damage might actually be... Yep. Two times. Also applies one burn and one daze for each attack. Alright. Well, this is 20 magical armor plus 8. Unfortunately, that puts me to 29, which means it doesn't block perfectly. Unfortunate. And the Athena's clock does get multiple stacks, so we're I'm bouncing out how many stacks. Alright. Holy severance. Alright, this is another one of those. Got it. Start by that might um yeah, break their next attack. Thirty 
35. Oh, that means this should protect me, right? Alright, now we're definitely protected. Alright. Go. Did I use that this turn? I did. Turn your morale to nothing. Have the cores. Nope. No pylons for you to. Okay. All right. Well, no reason to attack morale. So we just do our claw bite until we run out of resources, basically. Celestial Judgment damage. We knew this was coming. We now can properly block that. Alright, you still have no resolve. We're saving this for when you do, because you're gonna do some sort of split when we get you to... Yep, here we go. Alright. Two Holy Pylons. And gains new abilities. Alright. So, yep. Yeah. Let's just bludgeon these guys to death, basically. Alright. We'll leave that there. We don't want to deal any more additional damage yet. Just yet. Alright. Six damage, holy. It's ooh. Alright. So first we grab all the armor we need. Like so. 49. I can't actually read that, but I think it's a 60. I'll probably end up grabbing one more just as a security measure. Oop, and really quick. Per whack. Take care of you. There we are. And now we just continue down our roots. Alright. Power the cores. Alright, that's fine. You're at zero resolve, so we can just keep the armor up. And we just keep doing this combination of attacks. I just realized I should have Monstrous anyways, just because, um... Monstrous... How do I say it? Going to do some... Oof, how do I... Why can I not say it? Um, Monstrous would um, increase my power, so let's do that now. Changed. Nothing has really changed. Alright. Can we just keep our path up? Okay. Well, this guy's not really that... Okay, 80 damage, holy severance damage, three. Got it. Alright, so first we block like so. So that's 49 of it. So that's 60. 80. Perfect. Now we... Right. I have 
no idea why it seems like that's not working properly. Oh well. Let's pile on morale. Oh, gives boss morale. Actually, that's good for me, because now I can remove... Alright, pile on attack. Not happening. There you are. Killing these, I thought, removes... Yep. Yeah, I'm okay with the pylons having some extra power, because I can just kill them pretty fast when I need to. Really grab... Glad I went with this AP build, honestly. Alright. More Celestial Judgment. Walked easily. Alright. We're going to use this to just get ourselves power, I think. Plus 22, so it's just going on up. AD damage, which again sounds scary, but 8 constitution, so each of these is 11. So 16, 27, 38. 49, 60, and there we are. That's 80 damage blocked. And then we just continue our route. Oop. Hey, weak. Forgot. He keeps removing the debuffs I put on him. And hey, guess what? We have 10 stacks of blocks, so we're just like completely demolishing this guy right now. Yep, there we are. Alright, so that's the end of it. Okay, so there is an ending. Alright, total time, three hours, which is the main problem, that this is takes a long time. Um, always scary with these turn-based roguelites that, yeah, the build was so good. Thank you, Erdis. Um, yeah, it was just like, I had the damage build, it, I got an early relic that dealt with all my magic problems, and then it was just basically get survival, get lifesteal, and then I had spells and abilities that just increased my max strength, so, like, all my, my abilities already took care of the damage, I didn't need to use, like, relics and stat buffs, so my stat buffs could just be worked into survival. New skill general, all min minion merge plasma costs reduced by 50%. Alright, and yeah, so this is the class. The little symbol here is technically the class. It's like one of the houses. Alright. You have unlocked a heritage screen. On the screen, you can click levels and talents. Alright. Cool. So yeah, I'm now... Alright, so... Okay. So that's what it means... Alright, so ferocity, how many? I have 34 heritage points between blood and ferocity. Alright, start so with an additional 10 max HP. Every time momentum activates, heals vampire ward by one. If max HP is below 50%, gain two power at the end of your turn. That could be a cool way of doing it. Every time momentum activates, gain plus 2% multicast stance. That could be good. Feast. Increases feast limit by plus 2. Weak chance to, and it increases to 25%. Feast now cleaves enemies. Feast has 5% multicast. Feast damage increased by 10%. 
Bone armor additionally grants three multicasts. Yeah, still trying to figure... There's a lot happening in this game. I might play it again, but not any time soon. Like, probably off screen. Or just, like, not... Um, not with any serious theme. Alright. Bone armor additionally grants 3% multicast. Increases max recast point of bone armor by 2. Plus 1 thorns to lord. Ooh. Convey... This. Plus 5 physical armor instead of plus 3. 5% chance to give one block. Honestly, Sunder cleaving enemies seems like by far the best frosty. Probably gonna just split between the two. Make sure I don't um, invest too much into this. That momentum activates. It might be the multi-class chance. See, so I spent I had 34. That's 17 per, so I can spend five more if I'd like. Well keep it equal. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, this keeps these ones level up where those don't. Makes sense. Alright. Start with one random skill. I think we're going with Gifted. Because skills are pretty cool. But yeah, in case you're wondering... Um, so each of these have like a general like fighting style. Like this one was more survival and tanking. This one was more magic and consideration. This is like strength and hunting. And this one's finesse and stuff like that. And then from there, blood is your, um, like, frosty was our feast and bone armor sort of physical stuff. And blood is, I didn't figure out how blood worked in time, basically. But it has this kind of blood scale that you have to pay attention to. This gives 2% cunning per target hit. It's 25% more crit chance. Okay, let's look at this. Also gives plus one magical armor. Alright. So the question is, do I want gargoyle skin or blood lance to give me more blood? Honestly, I think gargoyle skin. Alright. So we now have gargoyle skin to get more blood, and we start with an additional ram skill. But that is now the options we have. So it seems like as a roguelite, you keep expanding in power. And I'm just going to check. I'm not going to play a new game. But, yep, Radiance 1. All enemies have 10% more HP. All enemies gain plus 1 strength and plus 1 intelligence. So yeah, this gets... Um... So yeah, this ends up being um, very much... I think it's closer to slay the spire than anything i do think that um a lot of the building castle mechanics fail um like the minions did not seem significant and they were e even where there were boss fights where it might be useful they weren't allowed to be used so i think with that sort of stuff um there are there's a lot of the castle mechanics basically could be simplified with little effect to the game and i think it would be okay I think the combat is interesting enough and that they have some they have some really good depth with the two guaranteed an offense and a defense skill and then abilities that scale with them. I do think there is some good creative abilities that they could do with few nights more. I do want to see how they progress, but I think the unfortunate truth is maybe and again, I've only played two games, but the castle building doesn't seem that valuable. Um like the traps, the the minions, like, I just did that run with, like, none of them, and I didn't think adding them would have made much difference. And that hurts in its own way. So, I think that this this is a game where I think they need to make it simpler before they make it more complex. They have a good foundation. They have these four classes. 
that, um, yeah, Clan Phelan, Clan Voidius. Yeah, they have all these clans. They have, um, after you choose the clan, you could be Ferocity Blood. I think we get two more later, or they're, like, in the process of building into them. But, oh, now that I've entered here, I can't actually leave. Great. And yeah, the castles, like, maybe when I get big rooms, I'll notice the difference, but with these small castles, it doesn't make sense. But yeah, I'm going to, I think this game is one of those that, because this game has the potential, it's still in early access, it has a lot of space to grow. It has a lot of space to figure out, hey, this system is too complex and, oh, by the way, what's in the castle down below? It doesn't show me. It doesn't allow me to access them. I think the game is too complex for its own good, at least at the beginning. It could use either a better tutorial or to just simplify some mechanics. The minion mechanics did not seem to do much for me. Again, first, first impressions. The trap mechanics didn't seem to be very good. There were some that were, and that, and like, I just kept saving them and never used them. That might just, that might change as I get better at the game and understand how long it goes. But generally, there was just a lot of stuff with that castle configuration. Just so much complexity and not much value for doing it properly. Like, just building your character, having those moments of respite where you get to power yourself up, that probably is enough most of the time. That is my opinion from a distance, but hey, give it an opportunity, give it a chance. Um, I got it for free, so... But yeah, no, it's not... Unfortunately, I cannot say it is not worth the $20 in early access. Not yet. I am now have the game, and when I enter Steam, it will have updates whenever they have updates. So I'll keep a mind, an eye on it, and as it grows, like, that was fun. There was definitely potential in the way that gameplay worked, the way you build your... The way you have those options, kind of like um, Slay the Spire, but instead of building a deck, you build your archetype, your... Um, offense defensive strategy I think there's a lot of potential there but there's just a lot of complexity there was like three tutorials along the way and only one of the of the like three parts of the game only one section was really fun now it was really fun there's enough potential there that they can make a game I'm going to be interested but they gotta work on it alright Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I know this is weird. This wasn't Rogue Legacy 2 content, but hey, I enjoyed myself. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Hope you, hope you have a great day, and hope you play the games that you 